All right, hopefully we are finally back. So I just went completely through my computer and made sure that I had my very best antivirus renewed. Um, now I got like two or three different antivirus um, malware, malware, um, just everything possible to pretty much make my entire computer and information um, safe. So. It's unfortunate that I had to do that and it looks like I had to unfortunately report someone's YouTube channel that had came in the chat but um, I'm sure you guys understand um, as part of the territory of course I have to definitely be more knowledgeable myself when it comes to this I can't be so naive to think that everyone that's gonna hop in is going to come in with good intentions um, I got a good feeling those of you that joined in since this morning have a good idea on who I'm talking about someone hopped in the chat just a specific, someone that we never seen hopped in the chat and all they did was ask me for my email um, I'll let you guys put the dots together on that but um yeah I mean I didn't give them my email I didn't give them my personal email at least um, the only thing that they had access to I believe was my um, the only thing they had access to was my actual like BS emails what I like to call it because um, that's all that I believe I have associated with YouTube like that everyone can see um, it's just an email that I never even really use in all honesty but um, yeah so I don't think that he received my stuff but um, either way it's part of, part of part of the game at the end of the day um, I definitely like I said made sure that my whatever you like to call it whole thing that protects your computer I got like three or four two or three different ones now uh, I didn't realize that my most important one had expired so I finally got it back up and running and it's definitely very very good um, it makes my computer actually run a little bit quicker I noticed too so that might also explain why my computer had been a little laggy um, so yeah hopefully now that I have completely blocked that user and reported them to YouTube hopefully um, correct action will be taken for sure um, there's no way that they can really break into my email even if they somehow did get access to it uh, because I have so many different things that they'd have to do to be able to like reset my password or whatever pretty much I would get a notification right away if anything whatsoever suspicious had started to happen so um, I dare them essentially go ahead try me um, but yeah so we'll see what happens um, I don't know exactly why that individual would have done what they would have done anyways um, it looks like a kid in all honesty from what I've seen by all means if I figure out who it is what it is um, I will take correct action you better believe that um, I'm not the type of person to really mess with like I said um, I'm, all, I'm all here to make money and here to help people at the end of the day but when people start trying to take advantage of other people I don't deal with that whatsoever like I can be one of the most vengeful people that you've ever met if you mess if you fuck me over so anyways with that being said we're back it looks like we are finally up and going part three usually I don't do no more than part two in a specific time in like a day so um, sorry if I'm kind of rambling here for a minute it looks like we only got one watching currently um, whoever it is definitely be sure to shout yourself out um, Looking to see Josh and Adam and everybody joining in here before long. Anxious to see Charles hop in. He usually hops in around the afternoon session. So um, anxious to see what moves he's made or going to be making today. If he's taking any moves on drip, he seems to be a little bit into drip and gush. Drip is wow, down to 956. Is that a new low? That might be a new low for drip. Um, 955. Yeah, so it's made a new low, I believe. Let's take a look. Or not like low, low. Obviously, on the 180 day, um, the low is 931. But um, man, it just keeps getting closer and closer. It hit 955 right now. It's at 956. Um, there's a pretty decent wall of buyers at 955 and 954. Um, bidders, at least. And then people are wanting 957. I think that, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen there, in all honesty. I mean, shoot. How low can it go at the end of the day? Like I said, if Ford slash CL continues on up to 70, who's to say? Um, obviously, these don't follow directly with Ford slash CL because if that was the case, obviously, Gush would be down and um, Drip would be up. Obviously, Gush is almost up a dollar on the day. Um, Ford slash CL is almost down a dollar on the day. Um, another one to be on the lookout for when you're looking at these two, Gush and Drip, is XOP. If I can get it loaded up here. 
XOP, as you can see, it's up about a percent and a quarter today. Right now, 1.12 percent up to 37.80. And when you look at Gush, what is it also up? It's up actually over three percent. But look at the charts. The charts is what you want to look at. Look how much alike they are, right? And then on the flip side, drip inverse. So um, yeah, those are two to death would be three technically on the lookout for for sure. Um, Apparently, corporate results are doing pretty good, which is causing the stock market to go up. I'm really surprised, in all honesty, that Forecast CL is not going up. We kind of talked on this. We kind of hit it, hit on this a little bit. Um, what was it? It was a Sunday stock watch, actually. I said that it looked like the markets overall were reacting pretty well to, um, wow, look at TVIX. Um, we're overall react, reacting pretty well to the whole Syria situation. Um, spies up. I don't know what the overall indice in. What do you call them? indexes are up? I don't know what, where they're at today. It looks like the Dow Jones is up. Yeah, 265. The markets are green today. Um, I even said it wouldn't be a surprise. I do look for some sort of a pullback. Again, it's almost predictable at this market. You can almost predict roughly how many days till a pullback. I wouldn't be surprised if Tuesday or Wednesday are going to be the pullback. And by all means, who's to say something will happen today and the market might flip? This market's been super, vo super volatile of late. Um, it's kind of settled down a little. It looks like the last couple days, like if it looks like we're going to have a green day, we tend to kind of just stay green. Um, but the market is still pretty volatile, guys. So anything can definitely happen at the end of the day. But um, yeah, how's everybody doing? Um, looks like we got one tuned in still. Um, hopefully um, people aren't like freaking out because of what was going on with the stream. Hopefully we are um, back and doing well. I think we are. We have, um, again, like I said, I beefed up my security big time now. Um, I have two active, two different active softwares for protecting my computer, for protecting my email specifically. Uh, because, like I said, we had somebody hop in the chat at someone that we had never seen, a channel that wasn't even related to this channel at all, which isn't a huge deal. I mean, obviously I'm going to have different people, all different kinds of people joining in. But... Um, it should have set red light. Red, it should have set a red light off in my head whenever all they did was ask what my email was, and um, right around that time, stream messed up, and the whole laptop had to be rebooted. And yeah, so obviously you guys know what happened from there. I did ban that user. Um, if I have any, any for now on, if I have any suspicions whatsoever, I'm just I'm just gonna ban people. I mean, it sucks. Like I said, I'm here to help people. We're all here to help each other make money at the end of the day. But obviously, this is the internet. We have to realize there are people out there that um, might have poor intentions. So by all means, I'll do whatever it takes to protect myself. And if I ever have to ban anybody, then I mean, I'm just going to ban them for now. And I'm not going to be naive and think that everyone's out here to be friends and help each other out. There are people out there with poor intentions. So with that being said, um, hopefully we are back up and running now. Obviously, the last I don't even know how long the last um, stream even was. I know it wasn't that long. Um, I want to see actually how it did. Um, also, by the way, I noticed whenever I was actually because I had to re go through the last live stream to actually get that user's information. Um, when I was looking at, so yeah, the last one was only I don't know how long. Apparently, it was an hour and forty minutes still. But no, that that ain't the right one. Um, let me go over here. No, I'm not gonna mess with it right now. Anyways, I know it wasn't that long, but. I don't want to hit on this too long because obviously we're here to talk stocks and financial freedom and whatnot. It's just frustrating because I mean my channel's not that big. I don't even have 300 subscribers yet, and yet people still take advantage of people. I just don't understand it. Um, but anyways, I might even be wrong. Who's to say that I'm wrong? Who's to say that I'm right on that? It might not even been that person. Someone might have not even hacked my stuff. It just might be simply this computer's going to shit. I wouldn't understand why. It's only about a year or two old. And I haven't had issues like this with it. Um, but who's to say? You never know with these laptops, right? But um, if, as soon as I get a notification that it's that something's going on, then that'll obviously confirm it. But I've definitely beefed everything up just to be safe. Obviously, you have to protect yourself. But with that being said, let's talk stocks. Um, so, so far, we got like one person watching right now. Hopefully, we'll start having some more popping in here before long. But um, whoever's tuning in... Um, let me know what you're looking out for today. Um, if I don't know if Josh is tuned in. Um, whoever's tuned in, whoever's tuned in right now, um, let me know how your day's going so far, how your portfolio's looking. Spies up a whole percent on the day. That's pretty damn 
aggressive. And this is usually the time of day where, yeah, I mean, it's lunch hour. Lunch hour is almost over, actually. Um, but it's usually the slowest part of the day between 12 p.m. Eastern Time and I would say probably 1, 1 1.30 p.m. Central, I mean, Central Eastern Time. I know this tends to be kind of the slowest hour, two-hour block. So, um, yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if not much happens here within the next 15, 30 minutes or so. But, um, yeah, I just want to hear how everybody's doing. Um, I don't want to let myself get too frustrated about that whole situation that could be unfolding. But, um, yeah. So, what's up, what's up? I think I'd better go ahead and start. I better share this, too. Sorry um, for the one person watching. Hopefully I'm not annoying you with not... Breaking down stocks right now. I just want to make sure that everybody knows that the stream is back up for sure. And um, by all means, if you like, I said, line me up a list of stocks if you want. If you want, I'll break down any stock for you. So definitely let me know. So with that being said, I would share it on everything else, but it's not worth doing, to be honest. But anyways, um, get you pulled back up here. Uh, yeah, by all means, shoot me out something. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully not everybody got scared off for the day and just wondering what the hell is going on with my cheap-ass set. Um, like I said, I don't think it's my laptop. I have a good idea on what happened there, but should be all good now. We got everything in place. Like I said, live and learn. That's what it's all about. This whole internet thing. Internet and stock market, everything. It can eat you up if you let it. TVX was down under $8. Like I said, I wouldn't touch it with the 10-foot pole right now. It's not doing that well. I mean, obviously, it pretty much goes inverse of the markets. Down almost 9% on the day. Um, definitely has a lot of room that it could potentially make up. But again, we need to see a pretty red day. Um, which, honestly, we're... Do for somewhat of a red day. I wouldn't be surprised if by Wednesday we have a red day. But um, again, you don't want to invest based off of assumptions. So um, so yeah, I would just wait again. Wait for a red day. You know as soon as a red day is coming that this is probably going to be up 10%, maybe even more, 10 to 20%. Um, this is a really big mover. This moves like a penny stock in all honesty. It's all, I mean, not quite like a penny stock, but... I mean, this damn thing is just all over the place, guys. I mean, just look at the 20-day even. I mean, we've gone from 12-12 to 7.87 in a matter of about two weeks. So um, I'm definitely glad now that I got out when I got out because, whew, can imagine writing it down like that. Um, FTFT, we didn't even hit on that, I don't think, this morning. I know that Josh was um, in this one. Me and him both were on Friday, and I know that he held. I don't know if he mentioned if he ended up getting out or not Friday or even this morning, but, man, I hope he did because, man, this is not showing any signs of going back up to $3. I mean, could it? Yeah, but, um, I mean, all signs, even on the SMA 20-day, which I really like to look at, it's right around it right now. Could it bounce off of it? Yes. If so, that'd be amazing for him because, I mean, you might he might at least make his money back maybe close to it. Um, I hope he does. I hope he either got out of it or I hope he can really make his money back because, man, I don't know how big of a position he took, but I know, I know earnings are like tomorrow too, aren't they? Yeah, earnings are tomorrow. Earnings are on 417 after market. So after market hours tomorrow is when earnings are. So that could either really hurt or really help the stock. You can see volume today versus Friday just washed up. Just no good, no good. Hopefully, if he hadn't sold, hopefully he can get it at least to 250. But man, I don't even see that being possible today. We'll see what happens. I'll keep an eye on it for sure. Wonder what I'll have to say when he hops back in here on it. Man, we still only got one person watching. Oh well. Like I said, I mean, back in the day, I didn't even have nobody watching, so. I might take this time to go. Man, I don't even know if I'm going to leave my computer now since that happened last time. 
kind of need to use the bathroom really quickly before <clears throat> people start tuning in, but I, I really don't want to leave my computer after what happened. I thought MYN, did we break down MYND this morning or yesterday? Wow, big mover. Look at this. Had a pretty big panic candles I like to refer to it as. So let's say you even got in right here. You're looking at 4% right there. Let's say you held it even longer. You're looking at 19%. You're looking, man, this thing was a huge mover this morning. I wonder if anyone got into that. I personally wouldn't have in all honesty because I that was not a good pattern. But um, I would have probably started looking at it right in here because, I mean, you see a big green candle. I forget what they refer to. There's some actual penny stock term that they refer to this as, but a runner maybe or something. I don't know. But, um, man, I would have definitely looked at it right in here and seen what could happen because just look at the movement there. Say you bought in on the dip. You're still looking at, what, 3% right there? Nothing big, but consistency, consistency. And if you really know what you're doing, like I said, if you'd have got in while it started running up, I mean, you're looking at 12 to 17% in a matter of eight minutes. So, again, a lot of potential with these penny stocks, but you just definitely have to have a plan, have a good entry and exit that you already have planned out. Can't stress that enough when it comes to these penny stocks. I feel like I'm leaning in the camera like this, but I'm not. Okay. See how we're doing, how we're doing. Oh, we got three of you now all of a sudden. How's everybody doing? Like I said, wanted to apologize for all the technical difficulties we've had this morning. I don't want to hit on it too much, just for everyone that keeps joining in. I don't know if people are new that are tuning in or not. Um, like I said, if you're new, definitely sh shout yourself out in the chat. Um, let us know where you're from, um, what you trade, how you like to trade, what's your trading style. We talk about everything from penny stocks, as you see right now, penny stocks, options, um, swing trading, day trade, like just flipping stocks. Like what's your... What do you like to do when it comes to stock market and um, just your overall plan? Like, do you want to make this full time job? What do you like about it? Just um, we're here to just network with a bunch of like minded people at the end of the day. But for those of you that were tuning in earlier, uh, like I, like I said again, I don't know how many of you all are tuning in from earlier. But um, again, I just want to apologize for the technical difficulties we've had this morning and now early afternoon, depending on where you are. Um, I have a suspicion that I know what was going on and I already took a little bit of action on it. So hopefully going forward, we won't have to worry about that, um, about that individual, if it is an individual. Um, yeah, but I don't wanna hit on that too hard. Again, I just wanted to apologize for the inconvenience that we've had, we've had two now. And um, it looks like now that I've beefed up my security on my computer that we're functioning overall better my response time on everything's better um, I want to know too how's my mic I noticed whenever I was listening back to the video when I was trying to find that individual um, I noticed when the video actually uploaded that I kind of sound echoey so I want to know um, how do I sound so if someone can help me out and just um, in the chat let me know how I sound if I sound kind of echoey or like I'm in a hole or something um, let me go let me know let me go let me know Back again, boss. Are you up and working? Correct. Yeah, like I said, I, th I have a sneaky good feeling that I know what happened there. We had an individual hop in the chat that, um, all right, thanks a lot. Um, we had an individual hop in that um, I never even seen in here before. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to like speculate or kind of assume anything, but um, I've taken action to protect myself, my email, and my computer. So. Yeah, with that being said, we should be all good now. Um, I already contacted YouTube as well. That's what took so long the last time. Contacted YouTube, contacted Google. Um, did everything I could at the end of the day. So we should be good now, and they're looking into it for me. Um, thanks again for the support. Um, I know how frustrating it can be for you, the viewers. Like you see the stream going in and out, in and out, in and out. Like you might think this my set or something. Like I said, very well could be. It could be my laptop's going out. Just doesn't make sense. It's only about a year old laptop. It's a pretty decent laptop. It's a Lenovo. Um, not like the top of the top, but it's not like a piece of shit either. But um, again, like I said, I plan on getting a new whole setup anyways, but I have, a, I have a good feeling that that's not what this is. But um, we seem to be back up and running again. Just can't thank you guys enough for the support. We have five of you tuning in again. Um, hopefully we can keep on going strong here and we'll see what happens. But um, again, how's everybody doing this? Or now we're in afternoon, depending on where you are. How's everybody doing this afternoon or this morning? Um, got any 
profits or any successes you want to share with us? I'm interested in what's going on with Ford slash CL and Drip and Gush right now. They're not following their general pattern. Um, I was watching your other videos while you were down. Um, what's the update? Um, let me get you pulled over here a little bit because it looks like I got the chat cut off. There we go. Uh, what's the update on VRML and your thoughts on KGC? Okay, so I'll do VRML first really quickly. Did we break down KGC? I don't think we did. Um, VRML. Okay, so it's at 109 right now. Uh, looking at the one day here, I really only want to pay attention to right here. Um, to be honest, right now, I'm not really liking it too much just because, again, the volume is just absolutely horrible. Um, you can't even really hardly read the candle chart. In all honesty, unless if you have a ton of experience with penny stocks, of course. But um, I think again, what I was really wanting to wait for with this, um, I think maybe is the 10 or 20 day. Let me go to 20 day. Yeah, I want to see a break above again around 118 because this is like my what I like to call the target zone. Obviously, the SMA here is probably going to act as a resistance around 130, um, maybe even like 129 because obviously it's kind of taking this curve down. Um, but who's to say that it won't start to go back up? You never know. But I'm just saying around 129 will probably be a re solid resistance. 128, 129, 130, who knows? Somewhere in there will probably be a strong resistance. But let's say we break 118. Let's say I get in at 120, being conservative and whatnot. Say you get in at 120, write it up to around, what, let's say 129. That's 7.7% potential. And if it can break and hold above it, and will this happen in one day or even today? It might not even happen today. It might not happen at all. This is just my target area where I would really like to trade this. I mean, you can see there's a potential 31% in between. Like I said, is that going to happen in one day? Is it going to happen at all? It might not. Who knows? But um, in general, I'm looking at a potential of 5 to 10% profit within this area right here and then also within this area right here. Um, another thing is, is obviously... <clears throat> What is this 20 day again right okay so this is a daily so um, another thing is is I want to see some kind of big movement either way if it doesn't go up whatever but what I want to see is one of these what I like to refer to as the panic candle or um, just a sell-off essentially so you see that it dropped from roughly a dollar oh seven to 88 cents that's what like I don't even know pretty big amount like 20% yeah so I want to see one of these big red candles or big green candles either way obviously with the big green one you'd see almost like a staircase upward pattern which then we'd be in our target zone if we had another one probably um, but I really want to see what's going to happen with it right now it's just kind of hanging out I'm not really interested in it right now it's only been bouncing around about 1% all day um, so yeah I want to see something fairly big happen I want to see a big candle here before long either red or green preferably green like I said but if red then by all means you could buy the dip and maybe get a quick four to five percent out of it um, let's see if you bought it um, at this dip obviously you're probably not going to get it in at 88 but let's say you got in at 91 or waited for confirmation 93 let's say you wrote it up here in a period of two hours you made nine to ten percent so um, not bad for sure looking back at the five day on it it was what these two days it looks like so again you can see here say you waited for confirmation 93 let's say you wrote it up again this is just an hour about right here no it says or let me see here two hours and five minutes yeah so see two hours and five minutes like we said about 10 percent right there so um, hopefully this chart if that previous chart didn't make too much sense hopefully this five minute chart on the five day made a little bit more sense to you on what I mean with this and right now it's pretty much right at, I didn't notice that it's at the five day SMA the SMA on the five day chart um, so it's kind of just flatlining there um, I'm not I'm, I, I probably wouldn't mess with it today but again I'm still having it on my watch list I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up with it tomorrow and see if it either had a huge sell-off or a push-up it looks like it keeps trying to continue to push up but again none of us are fortune tellers um, just go based off of the chart not based off of what you hope happens uh, what was that other one that you wanted KCG right KGC sorry about that okay and you said KTOV has been successful for me today all right I'll check that one out as well um, good stuff hopefully you either covered profits or have a good exit plan that way you can cover profits so this one lately looks like on at least a five day it's actively trending up and using the SMA on the five day to kind of as a support you can see it kind of dips below and then it goes back up back up 
back up. I'm, I want to see it now. It looks like it's finally starting to break above the five-day SMA. I want to make sure that it bounces about right here, about where it is. I don't want to see it really get no much lower. I want to see it continue to bounce higher and continue to make um, higher highs. So what I would like to see is for it to get up to probably 389. I don't know what your profit margin would be because I don't think it's going to get up to about maybe 420. It might see 420 today if it does. And let's see, wait until 389. If you get up to about Man, I need to zoom out a little. Um, 20 day. So if we get in at 389 and it gets back up, man, I don't know if 420 is even possible either. I mean, if it did, you're looking at 7 to 8% potential. Um, will that happen today? Um, by looking at, the more I look at this chart, the more I don't think that's going to happen. Well, it could. Oh, let's look at 180 day. So, so okay, instead of 489, let's wait till. Or why did I say 489? Three. It said 389. Let's wait till 392 or 393. See if it can get above that 180-day SMA. That's probably what's acting as a major resistance right now. Um, if it can break above that and stay above it, like break above it, pull back at or above and continue up, then that'd be a good investment. Because um, say you get in at 404, for example. I would say the next resistance would probably be right around 451. That's 11% potential profit there. So um, yeah, I would probably wait again. I would just wait to see what it does once it gets near that 180 day SMA, right around 392. I probably wouldn't even invest in it until around $4 in all honesty, but uh, that's just me. And that's obviously being very, very conservative. I mean, even like, let's say you hopped in right now, kind of gambling, but let's say you hopped in right now and wrote it up to four. You're only really looking at roughly, and who's to say it's going to get to four because it keeps getting rejected at the SMA. So let's say you write it up to SMA, that's only 1.92%. Let's say you even wrote it up to four, that's about four and a half. That's a huge risk. Four and a half per, is, a risk, is that four and a half percent worth the potential risk on it dropping, say, 6% plus? To me, no. So um, for that reason, I would just wait wait on it. But um, overall, it doesn't seem like too bad of a call out in all honesty. It's not really, it's trending slightly down, but it's not horrible. I would say if it can break above the SMA, you might see it try to reverse and try to trend back up. But um, not too bad of a call out for sure. You can say KTOV was what made you some money today. So looking at it, I feel like we might have broke this one down, but I don't remember. I feel like we did, but I feel like we didn't at the same time. Um, so looking at the one, it looks like today it jumped pretty good. It's up 4.75%. So um, when did you get in? I feel like you might have got in this morning. And if so, I hope you sold off somewhere in here because that was about 4.5% profit, which is not bad at all. Or even lower. I mean, even if you made any profit, it sounds like you made pretty good money off of it or pretty good percentage off of it. So um, good stuff. Even if you hopped in, say right here, looking at 3.5%. A lot of potential this one's been a pretty big mover today I mean technically speaking not a huge mover but I mean it's been moving quite a bit today um, looking at the five day again um, has potential you can see right around here early morning it hopped up about four to five percent so I mean yeah it's small it's a not small I mean five percent is pretty big but um so you got in at 223 have you sold yet damn you must have got in like first thing this morning, huh? Um, let's see, 223 right now. It's at 241 essentially. Oh, I didn't get my clicker. 223, it's around 241. What? For real? Did I get that right? 223. Shit. You better sell that shit, son. You better cover them profits. You bought Friday? Damn, and you held it over for the weekend. You are nuts. Um, you better cover that shit. Seven, almost 8% profit. I, I would have covered it at 243. You see that big green candle? You don't really get much higher than that. No, I mean, you can you? Yes. But um, generally speaking, do you? No. When you see the big green candle, that's generally your sign it's time to buy. Time to, time to, buy, time to sell. Um, that tends to be, especially when it's a high of the day. Um, and I, I don't even think that's high of the day. I think that's like high of the last week. Yeah, high the last 10 days. So um, I personally would sell now, just cover them profits. Like I said, don't get greedy. That is where most people start to mess up. They start to get greedy. I mean, really, what's the point in holding out for 245? I mean, you're looking at what, three to four cents more? I mean, percentage-wise, yes, you might get another percent, but um, 
I'll I'll be back in five minutes about to run another comment. Oh shoot, okay. Well um yeah, I mean I definitely would be covering them profits. It looks like it's not moving too much right now, which is a good thing. Uh, but man, if you get a spike of volume that could potentially bring this down, if you get a potential if you get a bid bigger than this, if you get a bid size of about 50 to 100 somewhere in here, you better watch out. This thing could drop very quickly back down to around like the 230 mark. Uh, the bid is already at 239, so um, luckily you have a pretty decent ask right around um, 245, so they're kind of equaling out each other right now. But um, man, if it drops under 240, I'd be covering. They're just, they're saying no way. How's it going, Tyler? Got any options in play today? Are you messing around with Spy or anything? Facebook or anything like that? I actually haven't checked Facebook at all today. Facebook is around 165 still. Not up that much, about six tenths of a percent. But um let's see how we're looking on five day. Oh man. Come on. Say the supports right around 164.35. Say the resistance right around 166. Lately, at least. I'm be interested to see what happens with Facebook now that the whole Zuckerberg thing um, has happened and all that's gonna be interesting to see if Facebook can start to catapult back up. I'm um, looking at the 180 day really quickly. It's going to be interesting to see if Facebook can break that 180 day SMA of 170, um, if it can continue on up to say maybe even 200. I don't think we'll see 200. I think we'll see it top out around 185 eventually, but um, that's thinking very long term. So um, it's going to be interesting to see for sure. And also it depends on the markets, obviously. If the markets go to shit, I wouldn't expect Facebook to continue up. But um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the tech stocks overall. Hope everybody's doing well today. We got six people back on. Awesome, awesome. Can't thank you guys again enough for the support. Um, I don't know if you guys seen me live on Facebook and Instagram uh, when all the tech issues started happening. Um, like I said, I think I got it all figured out, but um, yeah, had to ban somebody because again, if I start to have suspicions that someone's here just to spam or try to take advantage of people they're going to get removed no hesitation i'm currently holding on to calls amd netflix oh where's your amd i'm interested in amd i said i wasn't even gonna mess with amd until it can <laughs> you can see everything that i was messing around with it um in the past um i said i wasn't gonna mess with amd until it can hit above 11 and looky there the sma is now right around 11 so um but i'm interested to hear your thoughts on amd and um, so you say you're holding some Netflix. So these are all calls. You're holding AMD calls, Netflix calls, and NVDA. So I'm anxious to hear what you have to say about AMD um, and where your call, calls are and whatnot. But let's take, I want to hear where all of your, what are all of your calls? Like, um, obviously I know the stocks, but um, what are your um, calls for each one? I'm hoping your calls for Netflix are no higher than 322. Depending on how far out they are. Actually, let's take a look here. Yeah, I'm hoping your calls are no higher than 320 or 322 on Netflix. Um, I guess their earnings is going to get released. Oh, is that? Oh, is this happening today? Ooh, man. Watch out for this. I've been calling for a while that I think Netflix is one overpriced. Two, I think they really did bad by up in their prices. Didn't they up their price like twice in um, 2017 and 2018 combined? And haven't they up their price like twice now? Um, I think they're doing a really, really bad thing by um, upping those prices because I know my, I mean, I know myself, I haven't had Netflix since they went above like, what was it, 10 or $11? And from what I hear now, it's what, like 14 on up, something like that? I might be wrong on that. Um, Actually, I think it was seven ninety nine whenever I had Netflix for one person. But um, I haven't had Netflix since they started raising their price. People like me, I mean, I just don't need it for one. And um, two, I'm not paying that much whenever I can go get something like Sling TV with live TV for 20 bucks a month. Uh, but that's just my take, like I said. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens here with everything. But um, 
Make it on Instagram release this week for AMD. Okay, so let me take a look here. Looks like uh, this is five one for earnings, but um, again, sometimes these these can be slightly off, so um, I wouldn't be surprised also if it would happen in the next week. But um, where are your calls at for AMD? Is it like eleven dollars? If eleven dollars, I think you'll be fine. In all honesty, but um, I'm anxious to see where your calls are because if it's above eleven, who you're gonna be pushing it? Ten fifty would be really good. Eleven dollars, um, good as well. You have calls at 10? Well, fuck, sell them. I wouldn't wait for, well, I no, that might be pre. I know, I'm still learning about options, so I'm quick to always say sell and cover profits, but um, you might have, um, I only buy in the money options. Yeah, so you might want, I guess you might want to wait, huh? Because 1013 isn't like great. Um, what's your profit right now at 1013? Like, do you know what your profit would be right now if you sold? I'm interested to see what your profit would be right now. Because I do think 1035 might happen before the report, in all honesty. 1035. 75 yeah I just think it's gonna have really big trouble once it gets up to around eleven dollars that's why I even said like for flipping it I'm not gonna mess with it till eleven dollars um, there is good swing trading potential with this but um yeah I'm anxious to see like what your profit would be right now if you were to sell Uh, what was that other one you said? Netflix, thirty percent. Man, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. I mean, you just have so much potential with options. I mean, like, yes, it sounds super complicated whenever you're first learning all of like the terminology, the Greeks, in the money, out of the money, all that. It sounds like super confusing at first. But I mean, it's just as confusing as you make it, in all honesty. It's from what I've seen, from what I've learned, I mean, I've taken a lot of notes on the Greeks and all that stuff, but I mean, it doesn't seem unrealized gains on $10 AMD calls equals 30% profit. Damn. Hmm. Shit. I personally, man, is 30% not enough for you? And Honestly, options are no more difficult. Yeah, because I mean, like I like I always tell people, people I mean break down stocks and whatnot, and I break down stocks too for myself. But I mean, like you honestly, you can do as much technical analysis as you want, and the technical analysis I'm assuming for the most part is about the same that you perform for options. Because I mean, you still want to see if a stock is going to go up or down. But I mean, the difference with options is is you can actually make money on the stock going down like you can and I mean I like that because I, I wouldn't say I'm a negative guy but I mean I'm more of a realist like I always call out when spy when I think spy is going to drop a lot and I'm usually pretty spot on about it so I mean the fact that you can make money off of a stock going down I love so uh, I mean it sounds kind of harsh I love when a stock goes down and make money because I know a lot of people lose money because a lot of people don't know options but I mean that's not my problem um also um the hard part is no, no, exactly. Yeah, like I, that's why I was saying that's like a literally the same connection between flipping stocks and options. I mean, you do the same technical analysis. Um, the only difference, again, is you can literally make money off of a stock dropping. That's what I love about options. Um, how's it going, Josh? Yeah, I'm back. Um, yeah, that's a long. Um, I don't know if you want to like go back and see the beginning of the stream, but yeah, I kind of. I wouldn't say went off, but I went on a little rant about what has ha what I think, what I'm pretty sure has taken place, and. Um, I don't want to like stir up anything or anything like that. I had someone hop in the comments. It seemed like I was naive, and um, I've already reached out to YouTube, reached out to Google about everything, and um, looks like everything's good now. But um, we'll see. And it might just be my laptop, but yeah, I don't want to get off on a tangent on that. But yeah, I'm back for sure. Um, if you're more than 50, if you are f more than 50% of the time, right? Exactly. And I mean, yeah, people get messed up on with options. Like you can 
lose all of your money on options and people don't like that risk but it's like can't you technically do the same thing when you're just trading stocks because especially like penny stocks and stuff i mean you can lose your ass on like penny stocks for one yes there's huge potential on them as well um but i think the potential risk versus reward is actually better with options than penny stocks obviously i trade penny stocks i trade all different forms of stocks etf ctns but um I really think the big picture going forward, I think I'm really going to start diving nose deep into options here probably within, again, like I said, the next month or so. I, I want to get my account balance again up to about two grand. I'm um, starting, I think, tomorrow because the funds are now out of my bank. And Robinhood said once the funds have been withdrawn from my bank, they will then be available the next business day. So I'm thinking tomorrow I should have around $1,000 to um, play around with. And obviously from there, I mean, it won't take long at all to get up to two grand with me investing about four to five hundred dollars a month into my trading account with me, hopefully at least making an average of three to five, maybe even six percent a day. I mean, it might even be. Nah, it'll probably still be around May when I start trading options. But um, by the way, you can apply for options on E-Trade. Yeah, I heard that, too. Um, but. E trade charges how much again for um, per trade? What, is it six ninety five or five ninety five something like that? Um, they will allow you to do um, naked calls and puts. See, I don't even know that term naked and all. I've heard it, but I don't know what it means. I, I forgot. I think I actually have it in my notes somewhere. I don't know if I can find it right now, really quick. I don't want to spend too much time on it. But um, yeah, um, four ninety nine. Also get free commit. Really? So free commission for three months. That's pretty badass. Because in three months, my account can probably... Uh, my goal by June is to have my account at five grand by the end of June. Because um, my family's pretty nice about giving me about two to $500 on my birthday. All of them combined. Uh, most of them give me money at least. And um, obviously, I'm investing 400 a month, four to 500 a month. And obviously, growing the account. I think by the end of June, end of June, end of July, I should be at 5K. Um, I deposited 10K to my E-Trade. That's why they... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sure you can sweet talk me. <laughs> That'd be nice. Tell them, hey, man, I got a following. I can promote the hell out of you. No, I'm not ever going to take money to promote anything on YouTube. I'm not that. I'm not a, I like to call that being a chump change motherfucker. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely have to look into it. I'm looking in. The, the ones that I'm really um, interested in are E-Trade, Fidelity, um, TD Ameritrade, um, I was thinking Scott Trade, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go with Scott Trade. I'm, I'm thinking TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, or E Trade, in all honesty. Um, I thought about a few other ones. Some other people have shout out, shout out some to me, too. But um, those are the three that I'm really looking at. I mean, they're just really good, reputable companies. Obviously, I use TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim already. It's very good, a very good platform that's worked for me so well. And um, I bet you can ask them, they'll give you some. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll have to look into that for sure. Um, e Trade is the best. Yeah, I mean, there, and there's a lot of YouTubers too. That, that um, one is um, what's his name, Ryan, Ryan Scrib Scribner. I never know how to pronounce his last name. Like Ryan Scribner. I don't know if you guys have seen him. He's kind of like me. It's not just about investing, but he's really keen. He's really good about investing and whatnot. And I believe he uses E Trade too, either E Trade or Scott Trade. Um, there's a lot of YouTubers I know that use E Trade. Um, and they really like it too. So um, yeah, like I said, either E-Trade Fidelity or um, TD Ameritrade. It's probably gonna come down to TD Ameritrade or Fidelity, but um, or TD Ameritrade or Fidelity, TD Ameritrade or um, E-Trade. Um, but again, we'll see when that time comes. Um, I'm probably again gonna wait till two grand. Um, I know two grand isn't quite 10 grand, but I think two grand at that point, um, like you said, I'm sure that I can ask them. I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask where they're going to do and be like, oh, hell no. Now you can't have an account with us. No. <laughs> but, um, be interesting to see. I'm definitely looking forward to it for sure. Metal kick ass. How's it going there, metal kick ass? Um, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm not making any trades today because I'm again, waiting on funds to settle. Um, we've had a few issues go on with the live streams. This is now part three. I don't know if you guys seen in the title, I put it as part three. We're now on um, part three, so is what it is. Had to ban a person, but um, it is what it is. But overall, I'm doing pretty good. Another Monday, another day, another dollar. 
Um, 2000, yeah, 2000, 2000, yeah, I mean, 2000, I mean, I don't know how much exactly, what, I mean, you said you made, man, you're making me excited, talking about 30%, come on, damn it, calculator, get this pulled up here, and boom, 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 pull up here, 2000, now, obviously, I probably wouldn't put all 2,000, so let's say I only messed with 1,000. This is for, like, one trade. Obviously, I'm, I would never put all my account into one contract or anything. But let's say I get $1,000 times 30% on one con. That's $300. I mean, fuck. I mean, I know it's not a lot, but, I mean, $300 in one trade, one contract, whatever you want to refer to it as. I mean, that's just huge potential there, dude. Um... You can get Robinhood Instant. Um, you can get Robinhood Instant, but you have to have a two thousand account, um, two thousand um, dollar account balance in your account. Um, that'll kick ass. I know there's a lot of confusion around that, but when you read the fine print, and um, I've contacted Robinhood a lot actually. Um, I've been in contact with them probably the last week or two just about instant options, um, the margin accounts, Robinhood Gold, and. Um, yeah, you need to have two thousand dollars in there for Robinhood Instant. And with Robinhood Instant, what I don't like about it is, is you will be labeled um, a pattern day trader if you say you want to continue to um, say you want to continue to trade penny stocks, trade ETFs, trade whatever, um, like you would with a cash account. Um, you cannot make no more than three day trades with less than twenty five thousand dollars in that account. So again, what I'm going to do is I'll probably do something like E Trade or something. Um, it should. I don't, I'm sorry about that. Talk. It should let you do it. I don't know why it doesn't. Um, I'll look at it here in just a second, though. Um, I'm just trying to explain. I know Metal Kickass is pretty new to um, stocks, so I'm trying to like get him hip on the whole PDT rule and whatnot. So, it's like what I'm gonna do. It's probably getting you something like E Trade, TD Ameritrade, something like that. An account strictly for options and then I'll stick with Robinhood as a cash account more than likely again it all depends this could change next week for all I know but um I'll use Robinhood cash account more than likely for my penny stocks my quote-unquote day trades and again I'll use like e-trade that's a good thing is like you can create accounts with all these different companies if you want and then just put some of your funds in each one and then you can kind of quote unquote work your way around the day trading rule obviously you're not using your the your full account you get what I'm saying like there's ways around it it's just pain in the ass um, think AMD yeah I wouldn't be surprised at all see if AMD like I said I think there's gonna be a really strong resistance around 1032 um, and then again at 1075 but um, I wouldn't be surprised in all honesty if it hits um, $11. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and check this out, see how I want to see. I'm pretty sure this is some more of Tyler and his, um, some of his results. We got eight people tuning in. Welcome, welcome to anyone that's new. Um, we'd love to have you here. This is pretty much a free trading network, networking, whatever chat i guess you can refer to this youtube channel as and we're not just about the stock market here any way to achieve financial freedom we talk about what the hell did i mess something up paste backspace it looks fine looks like you've taken the wrong turn uh let me see let me make sure that i got that link right from tyler um, whenever I paste a link here, it says, oops, remove any web address and try again. Edit and try. What the hell? You didn't put the dot PNG. Did I not? Really? So what at the end, like where the K is, I need to put dot PNG. I'll try that out here. I already have it copied. Don't ask. Um, okay, I'll see here. Paste. Wait, so I need to put dot png right there, or instead dot com doesn't need to be dot png. Guess I'll try both and see what happens. Damn it! I'm gonna put dot png instead.
I feel like I'm still doing something wrong, aren't I? Uh, da, 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 da. It still didn't work. I don't know what the hell happened. But um, I want to also check up really quickly. I need to edit my stuff here really quickly. Squish this a little bit. Do this. Yeah, I still need to. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Boom. There we go. Uh, what was that one we were looking at earlier for Santana? I know he was looking at a... Um, God, I forget which one he was even looking at. KTOV. Okay, so I'll go ahead and check that really quick. KTOV. Ah. Come on now. KTOV. Ah, KTOV. Uh, it's a T yeah, dude, I'll go ahead and sell it. I mean, it's pushing... Ah. You stupid fuck. Um, go to the one day. Yeah, it's really stumbling right around 240. I'll go ahead and cover your profits if I were you personally. Um, I pasted the wrong link. That's the right link. Last try. <laughs> All right, let me know how it goes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, check this out. But yeah, if I were you, um, Santana, I'd be covering those profits. You're up like 7%. Um, let me go ahead and... Make sure, let me do this, restore, settings, um, automatically block spam messages. Uh, maybe if I take that off, it'll change. I don't really like having that like that, but um, let's see how this works. Boom, boom. Squish that. Damn, I still didn't let it come in like a link. Copy, go back, do this, paste. Uh, do I need to put dot PNG again? I guess I'll find out here in a second. Piece of shit. Why is it not working today? Good lord. I don't think this is right either, but we'll see. Wow. Well, that sucks. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. Right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what the hell's going on. But, um, yeah, I'm assuming Tyler's had a pretty good day. <laughs> Especially trading with that 10. Um, I'm wondering, too, whenever you make your profits, do you try to keep as much in there as you can? Like, do you live off of, um, do you live off of your, like, profits? Or do you, like, continue to just reinvest and, um... Do you can do you continue to reinvest it or like I'm wondering do you do this full time or um what's up with that um, mod me <laughs> yeah maybe in the near future it depends on how big this stuff gets um, but um, I like holding options that go up okay that makes sense I just didn't know if like you were doing this like full time and we're living off of your profits or um. What exactly you did with your money Santana did you cover them profits I don't know if you covered them profits cuz I mean fuck 223 right now it's around 240 man do a 78 percent cover them profits no you got office job man you must live in like an expensive area. See, like me, my cost of living is um, good. My cost of living is not too bad. So I mean, in all honesty, if I could make at least three grand a month doing this, I'd probably quit my job. I mean, we're moving to Texas either way at the end of the year. And my goal in all honesty by the end of the year, realistically, is to have my account between fifteen to $20,000. Um, I did the math on it. Um, I mean, I did a whole, I did like a worst case scenario and a best case scenario. I think I even talked about this once before. Um, 
I know you want me to break down ARGS. I'm going to get to that here in just a second. So my conservative, like AKA, worst comes to worst, where I'm only averaging 3% of profit a day, trading just seven days a month at that success rate, um, would be with the amount that I'm investing every month and whatnot, my account balance would be around $11,000 by the end of November, which is like close to when we're looking to move. Um, it would actually probably be close to 12000 by the end of the year. But, and then like my possible, where I'm not even doing options, where all I'm doing is like flipping stocks, where I'm averaging just 4% a day on 10 days a month, while adding that 400, 500 a month, um, would be right around 25,000, 26,000 by the end of November. So, um, and again, that's not including like compounding interest. I don't think it might be, I don't know for sure. Actually, I think it might, no, I don't think it does. Um, that doesn't include compounding interest. Again, that is average. That doesn't include, like, obviously, you're going to have red days. You're going to have higher green days. Like I said, just averaging 4% a day, 10 days a month, nothing big, um, nothing too big at least. Um, that's 25000 So my goal is right in the middle, right around fifteen. If I can get fifteen to 20000 then um, I'll definitely be in a really good spot to quit my job. I told her, told the girlfriend that, I want us to be able to like not really have to have office jobs when we move down there. She still wants to have one temporarily until we're like really, really set, um, like really set financially. She has a good job opportunity down there making making a pretty decent amount of money. So um, she'd keep doing that and then I might do something like Uber in evenings or something in the Dallas area. But um, anyways, um, just a quick overview on my life dream, I guess. Um, anyways, ARGS. So right now it's at 116. I want to see what happens volume wise and indicator wise for the next few minutes. I want to see some sort of another pullback similar to this. I want to see a quote unquote panic candles I like to refer to them. I want to see a drop probably at least um, I want to see a drop at least to like 114. Um, you bought it. Are you still holding this? A Texas is awesome. Yeah, I love to. Oh, you're in Dallas. Awesome. I didn't even see that. Yeah, um, we're looking at moving to um, the Rockwall area, actually. Her family um, lives in Garland, uh, pretty much right in between like Garland, Mesquite, and um, Rockwall. And we really loved Rockwall. Um, it seems like a pretty, pretty nice. I mean, like, it's not the nicest in the Dallas area. I know. I mean, there's a whole bunch of, especially North Dallas near Frisco and everything. But um, we're looking at Rockwall and um, maybe Mesquite. Mesquite seems a little, um, I wouldn't say bad or dirty or anything. It seems a little bit um, older. I know they have older structures and whatnot, and they're really close either way. I just love that whole, like, uh, I forget the name of the lake or whatever is there. It's a, Yeah, it's a really nice town for sure. It's my kind of town for sure. Um, but... Yeah, did you hold this? You're in, you got in at 92, man. You're good at finding some penny stocks to swing, and you got the stomach for it, apparently. Because, man, I just can't do this roller coaster. I mean, whew. White Rock Light. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, where the, fuck, what do you call it? Light Tower, Light Tower, whatever they call them is. Uh, we actually, I'll show you really quick. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or anything. Uh, I think a couple of you do. Um, awesome. Uh, ah, shoot. What did I do? I want to continue to break this stock down for you here in a second. But, um, yeah. See, we were right at the... Um, this is the harbor. The harbor rock wall is where we were in this picture. But, um, yeah, I don't know if you can, like, see the little light tower or whatever in the background. But I don't even know if I showed it long enough. I'm horrible at pictures, by the way. I know, but um, yeah. I mean, we just really love the area, so that's about that's where we're looking at. But um, yeah. As for this, back to the point of hand. I mean, look at that potential drop that it could have, and this is on the one day. So um, I'm anxious to see what like the five day looks like. It has potential to drop ten percent just to come down to the one day. Um, ten day. Ten day isn't quite so bad. It could drop to eighty six cents. Ah, I didn't mean to click studies. Um, let's go back here. Boom. 20 day. Um, personally, I would, man, I don't want to tell you to sell too soon because it looks like you have been doing pretty well on this. But 
Oh, okay, 180 day. So it's trying to push up towards the 180 day. It man, 145. That's a lot of potential for profit still. But um, that's again where you got to take that risk versus reward. Are you willing to potentially lose all this that you gained? I mean, you've been in since 92 cents. I mean, good for you for stomaching that out. Um, I mean, it hasn't been like horrible or anything, but um, you definitely seem to take feelings out of trading entirely. <laughs> Um, so we're right around 118 right now it looks like trying to make a new high recent high so 118 that's 27 percent I'm covering if I'm you but again I mean it's still showing signs that it wants to continue to trend push up and possibly make a new um, I think that's like one of the most recent highs uh, 130 is like the highest but um, again it's getting really close to where it's wanting to pull back so um, I don't even know where to tell you to sell in all honesty. 118, 120. I mean, you're up 27%. Um, I'm probably going to be putting a stop loss. Yeah, that's another good idea to like limit your loss potential, like profit loss. Um, if you use Robinhood, yeah, stop loss. If you use like TD Ameritrade, you can use a thing called trailing stop loss, where as you're in the green and it continues to go up, your stop loss will come up with it. So say like right now it's at 118. So you said stop loss at 2%, so 118, if we can get on 118, so 2% would be what, not a lot. Let's say you said stop loss at 5% even, so 112. So then say instead of 112, let's say it gets up to 129. I don't think it will, but let's say it does. So that 5% would then rise up to, if I can get it close, roughly 122. That's what a trailing stop loss is. You don't have to manage, you don't have to watch it. Um, you don't have to do anything. It essentially does the work for you. It starts to, and you can do it on Robinhood as well. It's just you have to go in and cancel your stop loss, set a new stop loss, which can be very time consuming. It can really backfire on you, especially in like a super volatile penny stock. This doesn't seem to be super volatile, which I like about it. Um, so I, I don't think you'd have to worry about it too much in this case. But um, yeah, quick little overview on trailing stop loss for those of you that didn't know. We usually get a room at the Hilton. Is that the one right off the exit? Um, I forget what highway or um, road that is. Let me zoom down here. I live roughly 600 miles from um, Rockwall, like 572 miles, something like that. Um, is that like right off of 66, the Hilton, if I'm thinking of the right one? Maybe not. Actually, I don't know. It's like near, um, what is that street? South Goliad Street? Near Rockwall Police Department, maybe, if I'm looking right. No, no, that's a little bit too far up. Um, actually, I don't see a Hilton on the map at all, where I'm thinking. But um, anyways, off 30. Oh, okay. Oh, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so the name of this lake on Google Maps is Lake Ray Huber, Hubbard, Huber. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But um, it's the lake that's right in between Rawlett and um, Rock Wall. You cross it twice, it looks like, maybe. Actually, I don't even know if I'm right. I might be totally wrong. It's been like two or three weeks now since we've been down there. But, um, yeah, in general, that's the general area that I'm looking at moving to. So, um, oh, yeah, wrong way. Oh, okay. Like I said, I, didn't, I don't know for sure. I might have even been wrong. But, um, yeah, it was, a, it was beautiful. I mean, oh, man. I'm so ready. <laughs> I hate Missouri. I can't even put in perspective how much I hate this state. I was born and raised here, and every time we take a trip outside of the state, I'm just like, did this hop up? Oh, okay. Apparently reached 119 for a brief second. I'll watch this here for you, too, for now. I um, wonder what Tyler's up to. Tyler's been kind of quiet um, since we were talking a little bit. Hopefully, I wonder if he's in there making some profits right now. Um yeah, I'm just so ready. I mean, I pretty much ever since I was old enough to know, like, my quote-unquote dream, which is probably 12 years old, 12, 13 years old, I always wanted to move to, at the at first it was Florida, and then I was like, Florida, oh, oh wow, this thing's dropping quick. Um, I would cover prof. Well, you said you're going to set stop loss, so 
Um, it's up to you. Five cents. Can, I know five cents can be a huge difference. So I personally probably cover. But um, if, like I said, you have a plan. Stick to your plan. Um, it's been working. It can continue on up. I'm just a quick, especially when it comes to penny stocks anymore. I'm quick about just covering. And I mean, you're still up a lot. So either way. Um, yeah, I knew that my goal was to either move to um, Florida or Texas. Um, I happened to just meet my girlfriend, and um, she treats me really, really well, actually. I don't think that I tell her that enough. Hopefully, she's watching the stream. Maybe not. She's at work, too. Um, but luckily, I found out that, like, her family lives in Texas just out of nowhere. She's like, oh, my mom's coming up. And I was like, what do you mean coming up? I, met, I hadn't even met her mom yet at that time, and she's, like, from Texas. And I was like, oh, shit, her family lives in Texas. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it's definitely going to be awesome if we can do that. It's always been a dream of mine, but, um, yeah, hopefully it'll come true this year, especially if the stock market stuff continues to treat me well. This also could be a potential good dip buy opportunity, too, because you see, what did I say? I said that it had the, I thought I remembered that. We saw this little panic earlier, and then it continued to kind of bounce on up. But I really, again, I don't really see it getting higher than like 120. So I can understand, like you say, you um, covered profits. I will never blame you for covering profits for sure. Um, but if you even wanted to, you could probably potentially dip buy this and get a couple percent profit. Because, um, I think it'll probably go down to at least 115 if you hop in 115 to 118 that's three four percent but um, again you cover profits so um, awesome awesome I'm leaving emotion out but it looks like it may rise again yeah that's what yeah that's what I was literally just saying too like you might have a good potential dip buy opportunity right there I think this is not the end of the dip I think we will go ahead and dip probably to around like 110 again um, somewhere in there but who knows it might continue to make um, higher lows and higher highs. So it'll be interesting to see for sure. If anything, you can always get back in. That's why you can't stress enough. You can always get back in, but you may never get your profits back out from gambling and it continuing to turn down. Lesson learned with FTFT if you watched me on Friday. go back. If you didn't see it, go back to like the last hour or two of my stream last Friday and just watch me literally lose 6%, 5, 6% of profit in seconds. It panicked quick. I want to show you actually, FTFT, because it's still talk. That's my most expen one of my most like biggest loss swing like just losses, um, fast. It's horrible. Right here, I was up right here about um, what was it? Roughly, fuck. I don't even remember. Actually, I don't think this is this the right one. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay, so I was up roughly like five five and a half percent. And I got greedy. I saw a dip. I was like, okay, it's gonna dip, and it'll probably continue. But I want to get at least 330, 340 out of it. And I wrote it. I wrote it. I saw a dip, and I was like, huh. I started like kind of wondering. I was like, I wonder if I should just cover profits. I was still up like three to four percent even at this point. And then in a matter of just seconds and minute and two minutes, this is two. This is a minute chart right here. So in two minutes, we dropped from 318 to at one point 291. That is literally an eight to nine percent drop in minutes, two minutes, and my profits literally gone. And I I ended up I had a chance to um, just about make my money back. And again, I was stupid. I thought, okay, we're finally bouncing. I think we're gonna go on back up. Stupid me, it continued on down and. And then I think I finally sold off. I don't remember where. Like um, we can look if you guys want on my Robin Hood, but I sold off for a loss. And yeah, I learned quickly. <laughs> like I said, expensive lesson for sure. What was the name of that one that we were looking at? AMR or something like that? No, ARM. Shoot, what was the name of that one? Oh, what do you think of AXAS? AXAS. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking I'll get to 280 or 290. Mmm. Beautiful panic this morning. That was awesome. Apparently it dropped like, well actually it wasn't horrible. It looks worse than it is. But still, I mean, it dropped 3% this morning. If you did buy that, say of course you wanted to wait for some confirmation. Say you wrote it up. I mean, you made 3.5, 3.6%. Let me look really quickly here. 
trending up. I like it. Only thing I don't like is that potential pullback of roughly 12%. That could happen. But overall, it's not horrible. Um, again, you're looking for day trades here, not to hold anything. You say you're thinking they'll get to 280 or 290. Did you buy? Do you hold? Are you holding this right now? And if so, um, when did you buy? I think it might hit 270. I don't know if it'll do that today either. Oh, it's a 270 right now. There's a strong resistance here, pretty much right at 270. Um, seems to be trying to break, but look at here. You see the SMA? It's still right around. It's pretty much right at 270. Um, MACD is also showing signs of time to sell. Um, RSI, surprisingly, is just a little low. So um, these are kind of contradicting slightly one another. But um, RSI, by all means, like I say, never um, go based off of just your indicators. Um, they just try, they give you a good general idea. Um, but yeah, something's telling me that this one's going to pull back. I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the day. I mean, what'd you see? Um, I just happened to draw this. I didn't even know that it had, had bounced right here. But um, what do you see? It got down below the support where I kind of called out a support. What did it do? It bounced. And you see it's kind of consolidated right around here, right around 270. Now it's slightly above it, um, but apparently right now it's back down to 270. So it's having a really hard time staying above 270 to 271. So um, I wouldn't be surprised in all honesty if by the end of the day this is back down. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends red today. Um, yes, I'm holding. I bought Friday. Oh, you bought Friday. I wonder when you bought Friday. Let me go back to my five day and pull it up. I hope you bought somewhere in here. Profit wouldn't be too bad. 262 to 2. I think you'll hit 271 again at some point. I just don't see it reaching higher than that. That's still about 3 3.5%. Three um, I know it's not as much as you were getting on some of your other ones, but um, I'd potentially, if you can, sell, you say you're out of day trades. I don't know if you can. Can you sell this then? You should be able to sell it since you bought it on Friday. Um, let me know for sure if you can sell that. Um, if so, I'd probably dump it if it's 270, 271. I mean, it's at 270 now. Like I said, I think you'll hit 271, but is it really worth that extra penny? Uh, 260. So, yeah, I mean, your buy, your buy costs are definitely good. I mean, you're definitely getting in right at the dips um, for sure. I'm assuming you bought it right around here. So, um, 260, if you get it at 270. If you were to sell right now, 270, you're looking at 3.8, 3.8, 3.85%. So um, it just hit 271 again. So I mean, you're looking at 3.75 to 4 percent there. So um, two, okay. So even then, you're still looking at three and a half percent. I personally just don't like to gamble. Um, like I said, I'm identifying a pretty solid resistance right around 270, um, and it says it's at 270 right now. So I personally just cover them profits again. Three to four percent is not bad, man. So um, especially. I mean, for as new as you said, you were the one that like just started in the last week, didn't you? You say you just started like in the last week. You're doing really good, dude. So, um, are you in like anybody's courses or groups or anything like that? Because you're really not. Looks like it's about to hit 271 again. So, um, watch it. I think you'll get rejected. Yeah, I mean, it just keeps getting rejected. So, um, I would set a sell limit at 271. We keep hitting it. So, um, you might as well get your extra penny. But, um, look, see again, 270.05. Um, again, I think we'll hit 270, 271. I would set a sell limit at 271, but um, that's just me personally. Yep, sorry, the Tuesday last week. Yeah, I mean, you're doing really good, dude. Um, I went ahead and locked in. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, profits are profits. That's what I cannot stress enough. If you can average 3, 5, 6% a day, if you can average profit every single day, you're doing what 90, 95% of the market cannot do. I cannot stress that enough to you guys. So, um, yeah, awesome stuff.
see how we're doing. Hopefully the stream's still doing well. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Like I said, when I looked at my stream from this morning, how it uploaded, it made me sound kind of echoey, like I was in a hole almost. So hopefully the stream is doing well. Um, you all said I was earlier, so awesome, awesome. But I'm getting due for a bathroom break, and I'm going to need a new water here soon. I'm, like I said, I'm scared to get up because last time I got up was when we went all haywire. So I'm trying to like procrastinate it as much as possible, but I really need to take a piss. I can't lie, and I'm really needing a water soon. That water is super warm. <laughs> so um, I don't even know what this is. Market B. Oh, that was that website that somebody told me about. But um, man, hopefully I can. Seventy meters. C. T. R. V. Ooh, this is really low cap. Um, is do I get into? I think. Yeah, I think we did look into this because I remember we met, we looked at something that was around thirty cents. Um, yeah, depending on when you bought in. Yeah, I mean it's doing pretty well. It's down two percent on the day. Um, again, I just really do not. I don't. Per, me personally, I don't really like messing with stocks that are under a dollar. I just haven't had good success with them. But by all means, I mean it's definitely actively turning up. I mean, you take it from a low around 20, 21 cents to the recent high, that is 43%. So, I mean, huge profit. But, um, yeah, I just hate earnings on 4-2. Where the hell is the earnings at? But um, that potential gap down that it could have, too, or sell-off, panic, whatever you want to refer to it as. Um, arrows are pointing down, too. So, yeah, I personally, depending on what your buy cost is, I would... Technically, you'd be cutting losses today, but um, I don't know. I mean, it is actively trending up, which is good. Mm. Switching back to the desk computer, CNQ. I'll be subscribing for sure. I love the interaction. Oh, thanks a lot. Um, See you in a few. And yeah, hopefully, when you're back, I'm not using the bathroom. I can tell I'm going to have to use the bathroom soon. But um, thanks a lot. Um, love having you here. Lo yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm just here essentially. I want to build a network of just people that like-minded people essentially like I mean we talk about all kinds of stuff from um, getting out of debt financial achieving financial freedom stock markets obviously because the stock market is like one of my main passions I just I'm almost obsessed with it and all honestly my girlfriend gets kind of annoyed with how many like stock videos I watch on our smart TV downstairs on YouTube and whatnot but I mean it's just it is what it is I mean it's my passion and I love helping people and um, that's the whole point if we can just develop a community of like-minded people um, I think we'll do really big things all of us all, our goal at the end of, I know all of our goal at the end of the day is to make money so if I can help you guys achieve that then I mean it makes me feel good so um, thanks a lot again thanks for the support and again I can't thank all of you for the support like I said I mean I used to look at my live stream and I barely have one person and that one and there'd be one person going in and out and I wouldn't even have my chat pulled up I look in my chat like every 10 minutes and and it wasn't even like a live stock market stream just any type of live video I wouldn't even hardly go live because I was like there's no point no one watches my videos hardly but like now it's like I almost feel an obligation like to be here every single day because you guys are like counting on it so um, it's awesome I mean I can't thank you guys again for the support I mean it's awesome like it's kind of annoying when we have things like this morning where I'm pretty sure somebody hopped in here just to try to uh, mess with me why I don't know I'm not even like a big youtuber I don't I don't like I said I don't understand it uh, but that's all part of the game um, if at the end of the day I'm helping people and uh, building a strong community here um, that's all that I really care about at the end of the day so again thank you guys for the support I actually don't even know how many subscribers I have right now. I know this morning I was at like 286 or 287. Uh, apparently we're at 290, so we gained three subscribers today. How I don't have a clue because the streams were like so bad this morning, like with all everything going on. But um, thanks again for everybody for everybody that's tuning in. I know we gained two. I don't know where the other one, unless if Santana just subscribed, he said he was. But um, yeah, again, I can't thank everybody for the support uh, enough. I just can't. I mean, you guys are literally, I'll call you guys pretty much my day ones. The ones that were here whenever we had less than 500,000 subscribers. <laughs> 
sweet back. Awesome, awesome. I haven't even gone to the bathroom yet, and I'm actually just about a just about out of water, so I'm thinking it's about that time. But um, man, I'm wondering what the temperature is. It looks like a beautiful day out here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking the stock markets are kind of not moving all that much right now. Let's take a look at the big boys. Spy. So, yeah, I mean, nothing's really moving that much right now. You can see it's kind of started to, apparently got up to 268. Um, like I said, I ought to put calls at 268, in all honesty, on Friday. Starting to dip here. It was up, how much was it up today? It was up over a percent. Cause it's still up a percent and it's down to 267 so ew it's only 40 degrees Ugh. not that warm um is it time to buy ll well, let's take a look really quickly like i said i'm never going to tell you when to buy but um we can break it down and see it looks like it's approaching the sma on the one day i want to see one thing i would obviously wait for is confirmation of a bounce um Obviously right now it's showing the signs that it might be starting to try to staircase downwards. Obviously be very careful of that. Um, let's take a look at the 180. 180 is also trending down. Obviously it has room. I think, did we look at this? No, I don't think we did. It looks a lot like one we looked at earlier. Um, yeah, 22 to 23 looks like a good potential support. Um, I would say more around 22 looking here. I would say more like probably 22.50 as a true support for a swing trade or something. Obviously, it's actively trending down. That's another thing you need to take into consideration is that it's going to continue to make lower lows and higher highs until it shows signs of reversing. And again, we're not going to see a true sign of reversing until it crosses the 180-day SMA. Um, obviously, there's a huge potential for it to like gap up or make up room. Um, but what you need to do, zoom in back out, is... You obviously see this. I'll start right here. Can kind of predict something like this. I might be a little low there. Do that. And then with our lows, we'll probably just start out here. Something like this. So now when we zoom in here. Now, is this going to be 100% right? No. Pro I mean, no. They're never 100% right. But um, this is what I would like to call the target zone. I would not be surprised in all honesty. Look, you see these quick little panics where it drops low. What would you do? You'd expect it to, again, panic even lower to, say, 19 maybe. Um, obviously, the earnings is coming up, it looks like, on the 1st of May. But you're all, you're obviously looking for like more of a day trade or a potential short-term swing trade. So, um, yeah, I'd just kind of wait. I'd wait to see what happens. I wouldn't even make a move on it today, more than likely in all honesty. We're getting near the end of the day. Um... Let me take a look, go to the five day. Yeah, I think it still has room to potentially continue to pull back. Um, I would wait again for confirmation. I would look at the five minute chart in all honesty. I wanna see a confirmation on the five minute chart before I would consider investing in this. Um, I know you said not not to, but I jumped on TVX at 781. Where's it at, 794? Don't get TVX to my friend. Oh, I even put t because that's what I was thinking. That's funny. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, this has potential to, like, move up for a potential quick day trade or a swing trade. Or uh, Man, I hate this one. I treat this one about, like, a penny stock in all honesty. But, um, yeah, I mean, I see where you got your confirmation from. The five-minute chart, we're on our fourth candle, so that means 20 minutes of consecutive green. Um one day I would start to be careful to get near that. Get, you can see how it's kind of forming this peak, trying to at least. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's trying to form a peak here right around 795. Um, all signs are pointing towards that it's overbought. RSI is, MACD is as well. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a red arrow here soon. Um, you bought in at what time? 781. So, damn, you are good about getting these near the low. Um, 781 to 795 is roughly... 1.8%. It's not great, but I mean, let's watch and see what happens here because it's really getting close to that resistance. I'll watch it here with you, but um, be careful with this one. So it got up to 796. Let's see. I mean, if it can break it, awesome. I just don't see it happening. I mean, it's really overextended. You can see RSI is starting to be interesting to see what happens here. Um, swing for the rest of the week. I'm assuming you're still talking about LL Scott. Um, 
yeah, I just again, whoo, that was a quick drop. Um, again, I would just, I want to see, I mean, yeah, I can see what you mean about potentially swinging it, but again, uh, why rush buying it today if, I mean, we still got plenty of time, we got about two hours left in this market day, like, why rush it when you can wait for confirmation, get it at a discount, like, on sale, like I like to say, a discounted price, and get even more profit potential out of it, um, I think price action will move on Tuesday. Yeah, especially as it gets closer to earnings too. What did it say earnings was? May 1st. Um, so that's a little ways out. But um, yeah, like I said, if you find value in a stock, then by all means hop in it. Um, but like I said, I'm never going to tell you like when exactly to hop in or hop out. Um, just because I don't like when people tell me to either. It'll be swing. I get my day trades tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Shoot, dude. God, I hate this ETN. <laughs> I mean, it has potential. Obviously, it goes just about inverse of the market. But look at it. Like I said, man, I warned you about this. Shit. Hmm. I mean, MACD still hasn't shown that red arrow yet. But look, you see it's starting to kind of... Hmm. Man, I hope you don't get t -vixed. Hopefully for your sake, it'll like bounce somewhere around like 787 and start to try to show a staircase upward. <laughs> Hope for the best, right? But um, yeah. It'll be okay, I think. Yeah, I mean, you gotta think positive, right? So. And I mean, by all means, the market, let's be real, the market's due for a pretty red day. We haven't had no news, so I mean, who knows when that's gonna be. But when we look at the general pattern of the last, like, what, two months now? I mean, the market is due for red day. Um, SPY is still up about 1%. I haven't looked at the um, overall, how the markets are doing today still. Dow Jones is still up about 300, 272 right now. Um, NASDAQ's up also about 60. Everything's up right now. So, I mean, overall, the markets are due for a pullback. Um, it's just a matter of when. And obviously, on that day, TVIX will probably jump up. 5, 10, maybe even 15, 20%. So um, I was liking it last week and never bought. Uh, I hated it last week. Last week it was a fucking just turd. I mean, it had potential for day trades, but um, I mean, it's just been bad ever since it hit the high of 12 to 12, 12. It's just been kind of just horrible. So no, I don't like it right now. Um, like I said, but all it takes is one bad market day and this thing's going to shoot right back up to your 9 or $10. So um It'll be interesting to see. Can you check out AGEM? How's it going, Josh? How's it going? Oh, ooh, I like the panic right here. Um, let's look at the one day. So if it comes back up to the SMA on the one day, you see about 2% there. Volume's starting to come back, so I can see that why it's continued to have sort of a staircase formation on its way back up. Um, looking at five day, it also has lots of room to make back up. I think this thing might see 450 by the end of the day. Um, yeah, I think this will see 450 end of the day. I'd be a buyer on this one, because if you get up to I mean, I see 450 at least. 455, that's 3% potential. Um, I would be at this one. Not good at the moment, down a bit. Uh, well, yeah, it's, I mean, it's down 5.5%, but I mean, you see it's had this big panic today. Um, if you want, you can like wait for some more confirmation, but I mean, it's highly oversold still. I mean, it's got plenty of room to continue up. MACD starting to show signs that it should start to swing back up as well. Um, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends the day around 4.55. I mean, that'd still be quote unquote down for the day, but um, obviously be careful because this could also start to flatline and continue on down. So um, yeah, just be careful. Um, yeah, be careful with that one. I might, I might be pre, 
judging this one. I'd probably wait and see it break above 4, 445. Yeah, 445, ride it on up to somewhere around 460, 470. You're looking at 3 to 5% still <clears throat> potential. So, be interesting to see what happens there. I don't generally like this one too much, in all honesty. I mean, it's not a bad one. Um, let's get 180. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad one overall. It's right around the 180 day SMA, which is also good. Only thing to watch out for is it's now below it. So I want to see it come back above it. That'd be great if it could. I don't know why my fan's starting to tick a lot. Hopefully that's not too annoying. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so Fitbit, not TVX. Oh, I thought you said TVX. That's my fault. Um, fit. I don't know why I thought TVX, huh? I mean, it's just not a whole lot of potential in all honesty, like for a day trade or, I mean, if you said swing trade, yeah, um, I definitely see the potential, but, um, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I mean, it's getting close to where I'd consider buying it. I just know there's going to be a strong resistance. If I remember, right, where did I say 1050? I don't remember where I saw the resistance at. Yeah. So right around 1045 to 1050 is where I saw the resistance. Um, that's why I set my alert at 560. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So hopefully everyone is doing well in the stream. Make sure we don't have anything going on. So this is their outlook on it. Head and shoulders might be forming too. Um, wait, when was this? Is this a 180 day chart? I can't, or one year? I don't know. Um, let me see. Let me go back to that. Head and shoulders might be forming slightly. Uh, don't hold me to that. I mean, if so, it's a very small shoulder. But, um,. I'm still, I mean, yeah, I see that potential, but um, it'd be a swing trade, I think, at least. Yeah, me personally, um, I mean, yeah, like I said, I see it. It's just be careful for sure. Ah. Oh, shoot. But um, really quickly, guys, I think I'm going to go get me a new water because I just ran out on both my bottles. So um, I'm going to go run and get a water really quickly. I'll go ahead and put it here in the chat, too. I'll put it in the chat there really quickly. But um, yeah, I'll be right back. Just going to go get a water, take a quick little piss real quick, and I'll be right back.
to stand up. CPST panic bit. My bond for a swing. I'm looking more into it. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Just be careful because it might continue. Um, let me go ahead and pull up the one day though. Uh, five day. So it panicked. From that panic, it came back up 10%. Um, from this panic, it came up about 7%. Um, this panic here, it looks like it might be trying to come back up. Uh, just be careful with it because on the five minutes, showing a downward staircase pattern. Um, now when we look at the one day, again, be careful there. The SMA on the one day is probably what's acting more as the resistance. Um, I'd wait to see how low this damn thing will go. Um, I don't know anything. Was this Capst Capstone? I don't know that I've heard of that company. But obviously, oh, sorry about that. Whew, shoot. Um, I mean, look at the RSI. It's still not even showing signs of oversold yet on the 180 day. Um, and I mean, obviously, it still has lots of room to make up. I mean, it could drop another 40 cents. So, um, MACD is still showing signs that it could continue down as well. So, um, 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 uh, hmm. definitely for a swing trade, I'd probably hold on. Hold your horses. Just wait and see how low this thing could go. Um, I would honestly probably even wait until 160 before I hopped in if I wanted to get in anytime soon. I know, I mean, I know that's like a huge potential profit that you'd be like missing out on 8%. But um, again, that risk versus reward. I mean, if it can really go back up to its recent high, just what, a few days ago, 185. I mean, if, if you wait till 160. And write it up to that SMA at seven percent. If it can get back up to the recent high, that's fifteen percent. So, um, and I mean that's a pretty solid recovery at that point. So, um, yeah, just be careful with it. Uh, if anything, this would be more of a day trade than a swing trade. I look forward to continue to trend down for now, though, because all signs are just kind of pointing towards that. 180 day alone just points to it. Just, just be careful for sure. Man, I just started getting really tired all of a sudden. It's like I almost got too much sleep the last two days. Um, so on weekends, obviously, when I work weekends, I can get a little bit more sleep than usual at work. And um, I got a couple hours. Um, yesterday, I came home. Um, the girlfriend was still in bed, so I went ahead and hopped in with her at 8.15. Next thing I know, I wake up, and it's 2.30. I was like, what? I like freaked out. I was like, what the fuck? I got so much shit to do. And... She was like out and about. I was like, why didn't you wake me up? And she said, I kind of tried to at 1130, but you weren't waking up. So I was like, damn. And then today I slept until like 7, 730, even though we went to bed at 10. So if I get too much sleep, I'm too tired. If I don't get enough sleep, I'm too tired. Double-edged sword. Uh, yeah, CPSC has been training up, but um, like we are mentioning, 180, this is the 180 day. I got it zoomed in a little bit here. But um Look at all that potential room it has to make up, or not make up, continue to fall if it wishes. Do I think it will? Probably not. When you see actively turning up, um, you don't, especially like this, you don't really see it come this far down. But I would not be surprised if we see 126 in the near future. You see RSI slash signs of showing that it can continue to drop. Um, when we zoom in close like we were, you can see it a little bit more on the MACD. It's just now showing signs of continuing to drop. So, um, again, it's already down about another percent since we've been looking at it. Um, I just like to play it safe, like I said. Um, by all means, you could hop in right now and it could pay off for you. But um, risk versus reward at the end of the day. If you hop in now, you'll get potential 25%. Maybe. Maybe. But you also look at potential risk of 29% loss if you don't know where to set your stop loss. So... Oof. I don't know. I personally, like I said, I'd rather wait and be like, shit, I should have got in versus get in now and be like, fuck, I should have waited. So that's just me personally.
Um, I'll jump back in 140, 145, I believe. So if I'm hearing you right, you're wanting to see it hit 140, and then you'll get back in around 145 for some confirmation. Yeah, I believe it'll turn around too. I mean, it's just, it was due. On the 180, it was due for a pullback. Um, this isn't a huge surprise. This is actually trending up pretty well for such a low penny stock, um, which is kind of crazy. But um, yeah, I, I believe it'll pull back, continue to pull back to around that 140, 145. And um, yeah, wait for a confirmation or reversal. Then by all means, hop in it, day trade it, short it. Maybe even swing it if you wish. In this case, in this scenario, yes, I would not mind somebody trying to swing trade this. Why? Because, like I said, I mean, for a penny stock, it's doing well. I mean, it's actively turning up above the 180 day for the most part, using it as a support. Um, so I wouldn't mind someone saying that they wanted to um, swing trade this. But, um, yeah, again, just wait. There's no harm in waiting. Like I said, I'd rather sit there and be like, man, what if I got in? Versus, man, why did I ever get in? Yeah, so we can, yeah, I keep forgetting that you're out of day trades. I'm assuming you're using like Robinhood Cash Account or something. And I'm assuming you use Instant too, if you're talking about day trades, amount of day trades you have. Well, now we're going to have to make a decision. You won't have to make a decision today. I mean, if nothing shakes out, then don't force something. If, if it doesn't shake out today, wait till tomorrow morning. I mean, yes, it could potentially gap up in the morning. Then, like I said, you're like, shit, I wish I had gotten in. But, like I said, I'd rather have shit I should have gotten in versus fuck, what was I thinking? That's just me personally. I've way too, I've had, in the amount of time I've been trading, I've had way too many fuck, what was I thinking versus... Shit, I wish I got in that I tend to lean more towards wanting to miss out versus rather be kicking myself. And you'll learn that too. I'm sure you'll have one eventually that it's not all, it's not all the way you've been. You've had a hell of a week, first week. Um, but trust me, you'll have one of those moments where you're like, fuck, now nah, I see what he was talking about. I mean, it's coming, trust me. Especially with them penny stocks. You're. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bite you soon enough. I mean, you're doing very good. Like, I'm not trying to, like, say you're going to fail or anything. But, um, by all means, trust me. Trust me, trust me. CNET screwed you? Yeah. Did you? I don't know how new you are. Someone brought up CNET. I don't remember when. I'm pretty sure someone brought up CNET. I'll go ahead and take a look at it. But, yeah, you're using Robin Hood. Um, just waiting for the right time. Yeah. Like I said, I would not force it, though. CNET. Yeah, this thing's a piece of shit, if I remember right. Well, it might be a good dip buy. This thing might be a good dip buy. It's up 4% on the day. 20 today. Man, this thing might be a good dip. Man, I don't know. No, I would wait till earnings. Earnings are tomorrow after hours. I wouldn't mess with this today. But um, there might be a good potential buy opportunity here. I get where you're coming from, though. Yeah, um, for sure. And I do. I get where you're coming from too, because like you want to make, you don't want to miss out on opportunity, but um, you don't want to get burned at the same time. If you're like me, you get you like to get burned by the same fire. Fuck, I've on TVX and on Drip, I've gotten burned multiple times on those, and I never seem to learn my lesson. <laughs> but um, I have, I learned my lesson on them. I'm not touching them. Um, JNUG's actually now down on the day. Um, that's kind of weird because Forsyth GC is still up $3 on the day. I sold it from last week. I was down too much. I don't know when. Man, were you the one that actually. Like I said, I don't know how long you've been tuned into my channel, but uh, were you the one that actually did call out CNET on. What day was it? Thursday or Friday? I thought someone called this one out and I didn't like it at the time. Just because of the fact the S is, I mean, just look as of recent, it had been actively trending down. Um, however, it is showing signs of potential recovery. It might just be because of earnings, though. Um, I'm anxious to see how the earnings treats this one. Um, just found me. Okay, so no, it wasn't you. But um, 
still cool. Um, now you're here for future. I mean, yeah, I go live pretty much every single market day. Um, some days might be shorter than others, especially, um, I don't know, if, like you said, you're new to me. Um, I work an overnight job for my local wastewater treatment plant. And um, luckily, it's pretty laid back in all honesty. There's only about two to four people there in the entire plant overnight. So we usually just go off, get done when we have to get done, and take little rest, naps, whatever. Um, and during the week, it's a little bit harder, I can tell. It's a little bit harder to catch some rest. So um, some streams might be shorter than others just because, I mean, let's be real, I am still human. I still need to get some form of sleep. Um, but as long as I average about five to six hours a day, I'm not too rough. I try to get two hours before I go into work. I try to get at least a good hour to three hours while I'm at work. And then during the day at some point, I try to take another two to three hour nap, just depending on how exhausted I am. So, yeah, it's temporary. My girlfriend's always like, man, I don't get how you do it, but I'm like, look, it's all in here. If you can will through it and know that it's just temporary, then you can do anything. I mean, I definitely believe in the world. Wow, the same's up every hour today almost. Um, but I really believe, I mean, if you have your vision set and mindset right, you can literally do, you can run through a brick wall. I mean, obviously, it's not good long term. I know the sleeping pattern's not good whatsoever. I'm not a idiot. But, um... Like I said, I told her, I was like, I mean, I'm going to be quitting probably either this summer or obviously when we move. So um, it's all temporary. I mean, we can put up with it for a little while. And I have sick pay. I have a lot of sick pay, actually. We get like six hours of sick pay per paycheck. So it's like if some night, like, what? If some night I'm just, if I wake up some night and I'm just like, man, I don't feel like going in. I'll just be like, fuck it. Use a sick day. <laughs> I mean, obviously you don't want to do that too often, but um, that opportunity is there too. R-A-D. And actually, I'm off Sunday night, Monday night right now, so I'll be still fresh tomorrow and ready to go. But yeah, I go live every single day. So for if there, I don't know how many people we have watching right now, but um, if anyone's new and still wondering if they should subscribe, um, yeah, consider subscribing and shooting out, again, some stocks or whatever because we're here every single day. Um, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh man, 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 man. Hmm. Okay, so it's getting near the 180 day SMA. So just be careful. You can see it got rejected as soon as it tried to come past it. Did we try this one already? I don't think we did, but it looks a lot familiar to one that we were looking at earlier. Um, I've had this one on my watch list, but yet to pull the trigger. Um, I can understand why because um, every time it gets passed above the SMA recently, it just continues to sell off. Um, SMA did act as a resistance, and then it started acting as a support, and now it's acting as a resistance. It's going to be interesting to see here if it can break above um, 180 and kind of just bounce around there then um, by all means, buy, buy, buy. But um, every sign is pointing ter towards overbought. So um, for that reason, I'm gonna have to pass for now. But I think I might actually add this to my active watch list, just cause it intrigues me a little bit. Makes me think. So, boom. Like I said, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to make a new watch list. I'm gonna need to make, again, another penny stock watch list. I don't know if you can make more than two watch lists though. Let me see. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Damn. Man, I forgot how to make a new watch list. I don't know if I can. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, by all means, if you all have any stocks you all want me to break down, let me know. 
I'm trying to see if I can. I wonder if I edit this one, if it's going to also edit my other ETF. Let me see. Um, edit ETFs. Let me see if I just do that. What's going to happen? Okay, so I only edited this one. So, um, ETF. What I'll do is make this one penny. Penny stocks. And now what I'll do is watch and see if this will affect anything. Ah, it did. It took it off this one too. Fuck. I know there's some way, there's gotta be, I know there's some way you can have more than two watch lists, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna have to look that up, I don't wanna spend too much time on that, but that might be something I'll need to do a tutorial video over for you guys too. Um, $10 stock, $10 buy looks like XONE, $7, nice support. What program days? Um, this is TD Ameritrade Think or Swim, Think or Swim platform. Um, and yes, Scott, I definitely see the support building right around seven dollars. We'll go ahead and draw this out right here. Maybe. Boom. Uh, next resistance is probably obviously the SMA is going to act as a resistance, but then I see another resistance right here. Oop. Maybe. And then obviously that SMA is probably going to act as another resistance. I would assume probably ending up right around 850, just depending. So then what is your potential profit? I'd wait for more confirmation. I'd probably personally wait till 785. Obviously, you're missing out on a little bit of profit by doing so, but that's just my kind of thing. So. I'm at about 10% potential there. Um, that might be a good swing trade. Um, day trade, let me look at the five day. Eh, I don't really like this one for day trading, but um, for a swing trade, um, I might like this one. 10 day, yeah. I kind of like this one for a swing trade because I would wait for a pullback maybe around the recent um, SMA, if you wish. You don't have to, obviously, but um, I kind of like this one for a swing trade. Yeah, it sets up really nicely for a swing trade. So um, just be careful with this SMA at the 20 day. Like I said, I'd wait for it again. Break above around 785. True confirmation that's going to start going up. Um, 785 to around $9 would be 19%. Where did I say that resistance is probably going to be on the SMA on the 180? Like 850 or something? That's still about 8% potential. So, um, yeah. So yeah, I like that one for a possible swing trade. Um, RGSE. Damn. It's kind of actively turning down. I look for it to get rejected before long, right around probably 116, uh, maybe even before that. Looks like it's already kind of showing signs of peaking out at 114. It looks like every time we get above 110, um, we get rejected. So what would you, what would I do in this case? I would wait for it to kind of, yeah, I mean, it's so overextended. I would wait for it to have one of these like panics, um, like a little pretty big pullback. I would look for it to pull back to around a dollar or a dollar oh five, um, then potentially try to again, ride it up to around 110. That's five, 6% potential. Um, Let's look at it. So yeah, I mean, if you wait till around 103, it's 105. That's two percent. Um, come on now. Yeah, it just depends with this one. 
Obviously, they do really well in the morning for potential quick profits. I mean, you look right here, you get 6% in how much time? In five minutes. Right here, we saw how much? 6% in two minutes. No, that ain't right. Three minutes, about. Right here, you see 11% in four minutes, so. Yeah, I really like penny stocks more in the mornings because obviously we see a lot of runners first thing in the morning. But, um, I mean, there's potential still for small profits. I mean, we just seen it at around, what, 109 or 110. It's up to 112. So from uh, if it got down to 109 like I think it did, that's about 3 and a quarter percent. I'd be covering the profits right there. Move on. You see it gets rejected over and over right in here, so why risk it? Take the profits, move on. But, um, yeah, Joss, I see some potential in there. But, yeah. Um, Again, I really like a morn, early morning and mid morning. Afternoon tends to be pretty slow. I notice. I'm starting to notice afternoon tends to be pretty slow in most cases. Other than obviously your big boys can have some pretty big movement in the afternoon. I don't know where they're at right now. Yeah, I mean even they kind of don't do too much in the afternoon. So yeah. Oh shoot. Got a little over an hour left today. Hopefully everybody's in the green. I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm excited to see what I can do this week. Honestly, if I can do 10% this week, I won't complain. Or, um, let me see, what would that be? Five. Yeah, if I can do t about 10% this week, I won't be too mad. Because obviously, like I said, I'm going to go forward um, splitting my account in two. And uh, not in two different accounts, but like splitting the... Um, amount in my account into that way I can literally quote unquote day trade in the mornings and um, obviously from a total account standpoint if I can do five percent a day that's two and a quarter two and a half right two and a half percent every day um, total account growth obviously I want to do five percent I would love to do five percent every day so if I could do that this week that would be um, two and a half percent overall account growth per day times four days that'd be ten percent so if I can do 10% growth this week, I'll be pretty happy because with the $1,000 account, um, that would be about $100 um, profit for the week. So um, hopefully we can do that. That would be awesome. And another reason, like I said, why I'm thinking about doing, it, go, doing this going forward is because, like I said, you're going to have red days, you're going to have green days. If I can trade with the about the same balance every day, if I have a red day, I'm going to be less tempted to hold and try to force a positive trade when I know realistically my head is probably going to be negative. I'm less likely to try to bag hold something and I'll be quick to cut losses because I know the next day I'm not going to have to wait for funds to settle for a whole day. I know that I'm going to, again, have about $500 to invest in, make that prop, make that loss up plus some. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be the best way to do it going forward. I'm going to be less likely to force trades. I'm going to be less likely to bag hold. Um, I'm going to be less likely to just do stupid things overall. So, again, I'm anxious to see how it's going to work out. And um, hopefully you guys um, will enjoy the ride, as I like to say. And I think, you'll, I think you guys will like it better because I don't know about you guys, but I like actually seeing the person I'm watching trading when I watch them live. Um, I mean, yeah, it's cool for people like break down stocks for you and for all of us to network here and whatnot. But um, I personally, I mean, obviously I love doing the trades. I hate just sitting here watching um, because I see all the potential profits you can be making. But um, I even think you guys might enjoy it more because I'll be trading every single day. Um, I don't want you guys to copy me whatsoever because I don't want you guys to be like, oh, well, this dude took made a huge loss and I went based off his. Like, no, do not ever trade something just because I'm trading it. Um, don't even even when I break down a stock for you, I might I might very mel, very well be wrong. So I mean, do not ever just hop in something just because something I say or any other YouTuber or any other person on the internet says, because I mean it's just dumb at the end of the day. Like yes, this is fun. We're all networking here, um, but at the same time you still have to do the due diligence. If you don't find um, value in someone else's opinion, then. I mean, whatever. It's not a huge deal. Just do not trade something based off someone else's thought process. It's just not a good idea. You need to learn how to go and fish for yourself, as they like to say. But, um, 
yeah, I'm just real excited to see what we can do going forward. And then obviously that $500, well then if I can grow it $100, if I can grow my $1,000 to $1,100 or something this week, then obviously next week I'll have about 550 or 5, 525, 550 a day to trade with. And then if I can grow that at 10%, that's what, about 110, 120, I don't know, somewhere around there. And that's not including compounding interest, so I can't stress that enough either. Um, it's just going to be fun. I can't wait. I think we're really going to start doing some good things here. Like I said, last week, I think last week was needed in all honesty. I started having some success. Um, I wouldn't say I was letting it get to my head, but um, I mean, it was good for me to learn. It was a good expensive lesson to say the least. That's my course. There's my $100 course right there. Uh, $100 course is called Real Life. So um, it's definitely worth it. I think I learned a lot from last week, last two weeks. And um, I'm really excited for this week and beyond. I'm ready to see what we can do. Not only what I can do, but what we can do as a team. And if you're new, I don't know if we have anybody new that hasn't subscribed yet. Um, hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you're new. And hope to see you in the chat and hope to see you on the stream tomorrow and beyond. We haven't seen Charles yet. I'm wondering what Charles is up to this afternoon. Apparently now we gained another two subscribers. Awesome. I mean, again, now we're getting really close to 300, actually. I mean, it seems like just yesterday I was at, oh, that's 250. I have my certificate somewhere. I just had 230 subscribers, like, not long ago. I hit 250 in the middle of March, and, I mean, I was only growing maybe one to five subscribers, I don't even know, per month. Per week, I, no, not even per week, because I mean, I've seen just a huge jump. And again, I can't thank you guys enough for the support. I mean, I just can't. I mean, yes, I'm still a small YouTube channel, but I don't even care about that. It's just awesome to see that like people are liking what I'm doing here and um, enjoy the content. I mean, to be honest, again, you always have those moments where you think about quitting, but like I always, the quote that I always read that keeps me from quitting anything that I enjoy to do is. Um, what is it? 97% of people quit something they love to do right before they break out and succeed. Be the 3% that are weird and successful. I read that quote any time that I think about quitting anything, be it YouTube, be it stock market trading, be it anything, anything that I actually enjoy to do. I, I love doing this stuff. I mean, it can be tiring, yes, and obviously it can be frustrating, like this morning um, with everything. That happened, but um, I mean, I love doing it, so I'm never gonna stop. And um, hopefully, hopefully again, help as many people as possible. Whew, man, I am tired today. I can't lie. I don't get it. I don't know why I'm so tired. I need to go make me some coffee. I'll wait until the end of market hours at least. But Whew. so, how are we doing? How are we doing? We got seven people watching. How's everybody doing? Um, I want to know. Um, what, what's, I want everybody, everybody's watching right now, we got like seven or eight people watching right now, I want to know, I want everybody to just shoot out one ticker symbol that they see potential in for the next, for the rest of this week, for the rest of this week, not necessarily as a swing trade, but you see potential that you might make at least 5% off of that ticker symbol, and, um, if you want to, you can say why, like, if you don't want to say why, just say a ticker symbol, um, hopefully it actually has the potential. Don't just throw out a random one. But just throw out a ticker symbol you've been keeping your eye on today or the last week or whatever. And um, if you want to, list a little explanation of why, like what support, what resistance, why you think it has the potential to move, um, what's your target zone, as I like to call it. Um, just let me know. Shoot it out there in the chat. I think I have to point that way. I don't know. Hopefully it's that way. Um, shout it out in the chat. I'm anxious to see what you all are looking at. And um, we'll break them down right now we're just kind of looking at spy just because overall the markets that we're looking at haven't really been moving too much uh the last probably what about hour or so um i know we were talking about amd with tyler for a little bit amd like i said i mean it just keeps having trouble um getting up near 11 i mean it just keeps stalling out so i'm hopefully he can get up to 11 i don't know if he took those profits off of his amd calls or not but i'm gonna be interested to see what happens is that IOTS or LOTS? I think it's IOTS. Okay. So on the 180 day, looking pretty good. 
getting close to the high, recent high of 920. I'm actually surprised with this one. Once the earnings pretty far out, uh, five nine, right around a month before my birthday. Uh, only thing to be worried about here is it does have potential drop. Obviously, there's always that potential. Um, right now, is this thing fro is it halted right now? No, it doesn't look like it is. But there's such little volume. No, I'm staying away from this. Um, look at the volume, 100. No, hell no, absolutely not. Um, I don't know why the volume is so poor on this, but no, 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 no. That's crazy that the volume on this is so bad because when you look at it on 180, it doesn't really look. Or one year, I mean, it's actively trending up on the one year, so I'm pretty surprised in all honesty that the volume isn't that great. Oh, my Biden. Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean the fact. I mean, this hasn't done anything today. So um, today, at least today, no, um, I'm not doing anything with this. Um, I'd watch it early morning, maybe. It looks like it has, looks like it had a pretty big, pretty big pump this morning. Um, what is this? Two fifty nine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it saw a huge pump from close yesterday. Actually, not even that huge. I don't really like this one, man. Um, if, but again, if you see potential in something, by all means, hop in. But um. I just don't, in all honesty. I don't really like this one. Again, that volume is just bad. I mean, 100, 1,000, 4. Yeah, I don't really like this one. But again, that's just me. If you know what you're doing with this and you see the potential, by all means, hop in there. The bid versus ask is pretty much locked. But, um... Yeah, by all means. If you see value in it, then go ahead and hop right on in it. But um, apparently we had like nine people watching again at some point. Awesome, awesome. We've been live over two hours again already. We haven't, thank God, we have not seen a knock on wood. Knock on wood, we hadn't experienced any difficulties. Like I said, I think I finally got it all figured out. Um, I took the right steps to... Do what needed to be done, is all I'll say, when it comes to a certain individual. I'm letting Adam know, because Adam was also on earlier. Um, if you aren't already, he, if you didn't know already, because I know we keep on getting newer and newer, more new and new people, um, this guy, Adam, his, you might have seen him earlier, um, he hasn't been on this part three live stream but his name is like nish nish edis edits ah fuck i don't even remember but he has like a free group that um he said that you guys can definitely join so um if you're interested in that just pm me dm me pm me dm me on instagram or something and um i'll definitely be willing to um have you guys added in there i'm not like admin of that group like i said i plan on actually making a group before long if you guys are interested in that I just wanted to like see that people are actually um, enjoying these streams and like what like what I have going on here, and um, we might make a Discord or a um, WhatsApp or a I don't know yet. I'll have to look at like the best servers, best apps for um, bigger groups because I won't be I won't lie to you guys. I mean, if we can reach like hundreds, if not thousands, of thousands of people, then I mean, awesome. That'd be awesome. But obviously, I don't care if we do or not i just want to at the end of the day um work with a bunch of like-minded people discord yeah that's what um ricky and his tech Bud solutions are on that's why i even mentioned discord because i see it's a pretty smooth running um let's see help me help me please i have i need 96 subs for wednesday um I mean, I've been there, dude, but um, if you need subscribers, in all honesty, um, I'll be straight up with you. This isn't the way to generally do it. I've been in your position where you need to get subscribers, but don't think about subscribers just for that. So, um, yeah. Anyways, um, just go out there and...
comment with a bunch of like-minded people, dude. Don't um, spam people stuff. But I've been there. I know what you mean. But I'm sorry. Um. Anyways, what do you, what do I think about N A N A T? Is that what it is? Um. N A T N A T. Nordic American tanker shipping. So this is another um shipping. Is this anything like tops and um? What the hell is that? Um, is this something kind of like tops and what was that other one? DRYS, if I remember right. Uh, I don't really like this. It's actively trending down. Um, if it can break above that 180 day SMA, which it doesn't look like it's going to, it's starting to get rejected. Um, if it can break above it, then I would consider revisiting it. So, actually, in all honesty, I'm going to put a alert. I'll put an alert for at or above to, I'll go ahead and say 235. And I'll revisit this one, but it's not even going to be in my active watch list right now because I think it's going to continue to get rejected and um, continue to make lower highs and lower lows, as you see right there. So um, for that reason, no, I'm not even going to consider it. When's the earnings again? I can't believe it's actually still giving out dividends. But um, earnings is around 5.7, so... Um, yeah, again, I'll revisit it, but um, for the time being, I think it's going to continue to make lower highs and lower lows. Um, can I get rid of this? No. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so I'll revisit it, maybe, if it can hit 235. It's not super far off from that, but um, for the time being. TVX. Um, I was just looking at TVIX from the corner of my eye, and all I see again, it keeps um, looking at what was it, the 20 day? No, not 20 day, one day, I think. Yeah, um, was it one day? Maybe not, maybe it was one day. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, it's starting to intrigue me some because it was having trouble breaking above that SMA on the one day. Now that it's above it, it looks like it's having a little bit of a pullback. Um, good. I want to see it pull back and bounce at or above this SMA. If it can bounce anywhere around like 992 or higher, I would say probably 994 or higher, um, then I would consider getting in. I want to see how far it's going to, I think it's going to continue to pull back slightly. But um, if it can pull back to around 994 and bounce and continue up, I would consider hopping in around 803. And um, what would the potential be on that? If it can get up. If I can get in at 803, I mean, who knows when it's going to stop in all honesty. Uh, obviously, it goes inverse of the market, so um, you kind of have to just take what you can get, especially when the market is. Is the market starting to reverse? Um, is the market starting? Let me see. The Dow Jones is still up 235. Everything's still green, so um, is volatility going up maybe a little bit? Um, either way... Um, Ha ah, man, I just I've had too many bad experiences with TVIX. It's pretty hard to get a good thing on. Had it been buying, just waiting. Um, yeah. Again, like I said, looks like again, it looks like it might be bouncing. So by all means, you might want to hop in at eight dollars. Um, say you hopped in at eight, wrote it up to eight oh nine. You're looking at one percent again. Man, it's just such a big risk. I just I don't like it in all honesty. Been TVXed one too many times, my friend. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. Did you? You jumped in 781. So, um, yeah, I mean, you're not doing too bad right now. I'm assuming you got in somewhere in here then. So if you got in at 781, right now you're up. What about two and a quarter you're not doing too bad um, if it shows any signs of starting to really really pull back I'd get out just cover your profits it's, I know it's not huge profits two two and a quarter percent um, nothing big but um, by all means I would just cover those profits oh shoot I don't think you can today can you because you're out of day trades or whatever I don't know if you can good luck TVIX is a really big mover after hours. I don't know if you know that. Um, TVIX lately, I mean, look at that. After hour drop. After hour drop. Let me go back even further so you get a good idea. 
Drop, drop, drop. Drop. We'll push up and then drop, drop. It's just been bad lately. That's why I said I, I don't like it. Hopefully you can get out of it by the end of the day. Um, I don't know if you can or not with your day trades or whatever. But, um, yeah, I would be hopping out of this bad boy before end of market day if you can. I sure hope you can. Now watch, now watch it actually reverse and watch the market go to shit, futures go to shit, and then this will jump up to like 9.50 after hours. I don't expect it, though. I'm just kind of hoping for the best. <laughs> Four size VX, yeah, I mean, it's still below 17. Unless if that crosses 17, I don't see TVX really going anywhere. Uh, yeah, ooh, but man, I hope you at least break even at the minimum. Man, there ain't nothing worse than having to sit on the sidelines holding some shit. That motherfucker's crazy. He's outside in like shorts and a tank top. It's like 41 degrees, running his dog. I'll be here tomorrow to discuss. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll be here too. Um, I'm so excited, man! I cannot wait. I wish I could trade. God, can't wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow, the fun begins. Isn't it crazy how before you um, AMD? Um, we were just talking about AMD for you, Tyler. <laughs> um, man, I'm struggling in it. But um, isn't it funny how before? I don't know about you guys, but like before the stock market, before getting into stocks, I hated my Mondays. Like, I mean, obviously I have a rotating schedule right now, so my Monday is like Wednesday. But you get what I'm saying? Like, I hated Mondays. I hated the start of the work week. I just hated the work week in general and whatnot. But like ever since I started doing the stock market stuff, I look forward to Monday. Like when Friday comes, I'm like, man, I can't make no money this weekend. The only money I'm waiting, yeah, I hate, yeah, I mean, my girlfriend gets mad because, like, it'll be Sunday, and I'm over here on Sunday Stock Watch, happy Sunday, blah, 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 and she's like, shut the fuck up, like, it's Monday, I hate Monday, and I'm like, man, I fucking love Monday, you're gonna learn to love Mondays, woman, because we're gonna be making some money, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's fun, I mean, I love it, I mean, that's, that's when you realize that you have, that you found a passion, when you actually wake up on a Monday morning, and you're like, Let's do this. Like, to me, that's when you know you found a passion. And, I mean, that's just me, though. But, um, yeah, as for AMD, Tyler, man. So, I'm assuming you didn't um, sell those calls. You say calls at 10. You said calls at 10, right? Not calls at 11. Um, if, I'm, if I remember right, you said calls at 10, not calls at. Weren't these the ones you were up 30% on or something like that? You were up 30%. I don't remember which what it was or something like that. You going to hold them? $10 calls, yeah. Man. When do these expire again? I forget. It's been a while. Had a lot going on today. If they expire... Man, you must... You must have faith that this thing's gonna hit eleven. So Friday. Shit. It's not a lot of time. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean you're up thirty percent, but um obviously time decay will probably I'm assuming time decay is gonna start kicking your ass. Uh look at the one month. Um I'm assuming time decay, what is that called, beta or theta, is going to start kicking your ass a little, isn't it, before long? Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I'm still learning. I want to know. Um, the theta might hurt you a little bit, though, won't it, the closer you get? I mean, yeah, one month, it's, yeah. One thing that's good is, yes, um, it's now above the SMA on that 30-day. Um, so it definitely has potential to go on. I mean, hell, it could hit $12 by Friday. Will it, though? Probably not. Um, 11, yeah, is now the realm of possibility, but um, you're looking at how much of a jump from right now. For 11, you're looking at another 9%, so you're pretty much betting on this is going to move 11% in the positive direction on the week. Um, could it happen? Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, data, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, man, just be careful. You're up 30%. That's it's not too bad. I mean, you must see something that um, 
I'm, I may not be seeing, but I just don't see this getting higher than 1030 in all honesty. Just being up front. Could it? Yeah, I could be wrong and you could be calling me a dumbass by Friday. Who knows? We'll see. Um, is KMPH a weed stock? Um, that I do not know. Let's take a look at it. KMPH. Sounds like one. Kim Pharmacy. Let's take a look. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of research. Obviously, I always suggest you guys researching companies you know nothing about in most cases. KMPH, correct? Um, let's see. I don't think it is. It looks like it's just a pharmaceutical founded in 2006. Yeah, no, I don't think this is uh, weed. Um, let me just Google it really quickly. It is KMPH a weed stock? I should tell you really quick. How to become a new pot stock? Is it? care about your suit stuff. I don't want to spend too much time trying to figure this out, but um <laughs> company which is discovery and pro drugs. So I don't really see anything that's pointing towards that this thing is a. Uh, can't tell. <laughs> Seems like a pharmaceutical. Man, get that, that bullshit out of here. Your stupid pop-ups. But, um, yeah, I don't know a whole lot about that. It doesn't seem like it is. Seems like it's just a pharmaceutical. But, um, I can see what you're talking about there, Tyler. Um, sold each of water earlier today. I'm regretting It's okay. It can't be. Exactly. Santana. Um, but I don't believe it is. I think it's just a pharmaceutical. Um, Scott. I'll break this down really quickly for you. 180 day, yeah, actively trending up. I like that. Um, be wary of a possible pullback to around the 588 mark, possibly. But I see overall support building around 630. So um, if it goes up from where it is now, where's that? About 655. If it goes back up to around eight dollars, I mean, yeah, I can see your potential long there. Yeah. That'd be a good long swing at the minimum. That looks like a potentially good long trade. Just be careful here. Uh, recently, it shows a slight staircase downwards. It looks like it's trying to reverse, though. So, um, yeah, I'd probably wait for some more confirmation. Probably personally wait till around $7. 7 to possibly a new high. You look for it to continue to make new highs. 888 would be 26%. So, um, yeah, good call out there. I bought, I bought Friday. It could have been 20%. Take a look at that. What is that one again? Um, H M N Y. Oof. Good lord. It's up twenty one percent on the day. When did you sell that one? I sold it earlier today and regretting it. I'm assuming you sold somewhere in here when it was kind of consolidating. I mean, it's still not bad. I mean, you saw it start taking a dip. Um, you can't help that it's just pumping right now. Chances are it's gonna dump by tomorrow. So. Don't feel bad. Like yeah, like you said, you can't have emotions in this. You bought Friday. Man, my stomach's growling. Oh, hopefully you guys didn't hear that. Man, if you bought around here, whew. I bet you didn't though. But if you did, that'd be awesome. But um yeah, you're look I mean, you still made good profit. Nothing bad. Yeah, still positive. Yeah, I mean that's all you can ask for, especially when you're brand new. I mean, you're, you've are you only been trading for about a week now. I mean, the fact that you're doing this well, this new, you're doing great, man. Like, my biggest profit <clears throat> was 6.6% .6 off TVIX. That's literally the biggest profit I've had off of one specific trade. So, um, I mean, you're doing great, dude, for sure. And then TVIC screwed me over and took all that shit back. So, <laughs> I screwed myself. Every time I think of mine and TVIC's relationship, I think of that DJ Khaled thing where it's like, congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> um, let's see. Damn. 
had a potential good dip buy. I mean, you might still have some dip buys. Um, just be careful. Again, it's up 20%. It can move either direction really, really quickly. <laughs> You're hoping TV. Yeah. Man, it's down to 9.92. Shoot. See if it can hold. It really needs to hold. You need to see it bounce right here, right now. Have some ugly staircases for me, man. Hopefully it can. Hopefully we can get some volume behind it. MACD isn't looking too good for you, but let's see what happens. But I mean, you're probably up so much that even if you have to close a little low, you're probably not gonna. It's just being able to cut profits and not bag hold. So there's one thing you can never do, especially with something like TVIX, is bag hold it because you're just gonna get lower and lower unless if you invest it and it's such long term that eventually months from now whenever the market cracks again you're gonna finally break even or make your money back or that's the same thing to um, get a little bit of profit off of it but um yeah I just that's one thing I'll do I mean seems like you know you know all the basics uh, definitely just make sure to cover those profits or cut those losses whenever you can trade it off. Good thing is it's consolidating really well around 790 still. Seems to be trying to build a support here right around 790. You can see it was a good catalyst earlier and continued, I wouldn't say catalyst, but good support earlier, 789 to 790. Continued on up. Let's see if it can go ahead and bounce on up here and possibly make a new high of the day. Um, be interesting to see for sure. Ooh, shit. So we still got eight people watching. How's everybody doing? Only a few of you are being active in the chat. How's everybody doing? Yeah, I mean, again, like with that guy. I mean, I don't want to look like an asshole for like blocking his message for trying to get people to come look at his channel or anything. But like, there's a right way to do that stuff and a dumb way to do that stuff. I was there. I, I mean, my channel's still small. I only have what about 290, not 295 subscribers, but. Don't be going around spamming people's live streams trying to get a couple subscribers. Because that's another thing. YouTube notices that shit. They're not going to give you a bunch of love when you're going around trying to do sub for subs and pull people into your bullshit. So hopefully everyone understands why I blocked that message. And especially after what happened this morning, I'm going to be kind of trigger happy to kind of block spammy stuff. I mean, I don't like spam anyways to begin with. But then after stuff like this morning, it makes me really kind of become an asshole. And I don't want to be an asshole, but some people just get the best of you. There you go. So it looks like it's trying to bounce. It's trying to bounce off that support around 790. Um, you might get lucky overnight, dude. Everything seems to be, at least right now, obviously a lot can happen, so we got 45 minutes to go. But, um, no, I have not checked any G in again. So this is the one that I said it's going to continue to sell off. If so, it is. It's continuing to have a staircase downward pattern. Um... Look for it to potentially bounce around 420. Obviously, I think it's going to continue to make lower lows, so it might be 415. But look for it to eventually, quote unquote, bottom out. Maybe not today, but tomorrow. Um, did did I add this to? No, I'm not going to mess with this one personally. But um, yeah, watch for it to potentially bounce around 410 to 420 tonight or today or tomorrow. But um, as for this one. To me, it ain't worth it today. It's continuing to staircase downwards. Just isn't worth it to me. I mean, say it goes ahead and bounces right here. Say you get in at 436. That's, nah. That potential's not worth the risk to me. Damn, TVIX drops quick. Good lord. Man, I'm getting 
able to sleep good tonight. I'm sore for some reason. I'm tired as hell. Might take a nap before the girlfriend gets home this evening. Fitbit still is pretty much unstone on the day. GME is another one that I've kind of been keeping an eye on the past, what, week or two now. Haven't made any moves on it. Drip is still being drip. <laughs> Even though Ford slash Ford slash CL, I don't understand that today. Ford slash CL is down a dollar. Gush is still up seventy two cents. Whatever. I'm just not messing with those two right now. They're too volatile right now for me. I like going to them for more of my safe plays, my quick three to five percent, not for the fucking ten percent dips or anything like that. If I want to mess with that, I'll go ahead and mess with some penny stocks. So TVIX is again back up to around 793. Um, I thought drip was gonna run. Yeah, I mean it, that does. I yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on with those. In all honesty, because usually when size CL goes down, what goes up drip, and what goes down gush. I don't understand it. I mean it's down a dollar oh three. It's not down like a two pennies where it's not really much to even consider. I mean, it's down a lot. A dollar or three, I mean, it's down, what, about 2%, I think. Um, I don't know that number exactly. Um, it's down close to 2%, though. Let's take a look at it. Um, Ford slash CL. TVIX, again, right around 794. But, I mean, this thing is down, yeah, percent and a half on the day. But then when you look at Gush, it's up two and a quarter. Drip is down, what, like, yeah, two and a half. I mean... Just fucking horrible. LGCY. Well, I heard someone mention that. Um, in, what was it? Yesterday, wasn't it? LGCY, I don't generally like just because I didn't really have that good of experience with it. It's actively training up. Um, just be careful. Look at this potential drop that it could have of roughly 30, 35%. Does that mean it's going to happen? No. Again, it does not mean it's going to happen whatsoever. But um, look, look for it. I would want it. I would want to wait until it gets around at least 454 aka when it's on sale you know that you're going to have one of these panic candles at some point where we come down at least to 493 but i want to wait until at least about 450 before i get in um it might not actually i might wait till around five i want to see a drop to at least five i'll probably go ahead and set an alert for when it drops below 509 and take a look at it again whenever it can do so um, if I could get it for around five, could, why did I say five? Because I think it's going to make lower, I mean higher lows and higher highs. So I don't see it really going back down to around 451 temporarily at least. Could it? Yes, it could drop all the way down to here for all we know. But um, if I can get it for around five dollars, where it looks like it's going to continue to actively, actively trend up, I'd probably get in again, probably around like 515. Write it up for a new high. Was it 580? I'd write it up to about six, 615. That's 19, 20 percent profit potential. So, um, but right now it's, let me look, let me look closer. Yeah, again, I mean, I want to wait for it to pull back. Um, overbought, overbought. It's not on sale at all. It's up 6% on the day. Um, it's been nothing but up. Every time you see it take these staircases up, it always comes back down some. So, again, target buy price around $5. That's just me. I mean, it's already up. This thing doesn't generally move like 10% a day or anything. This isn't really your like traditional penny stock or anything. So, um, again, that's just my analysis. Oh man, I don't want to go back to work. Oh shit. I don't want to go back to work tomorrow night. <laughs> Speed.
speaking of tops, this, tr this stock is trash, to be honest. You can see they pump and dump the hell out of this motherfucker. Does that make sense to you guys at all? Look at the percentage on that motherfucker. The stock is just trash. I hate it. Emotions kicking in. Emotions kicking in who? Not me. I can't even trade today. I did, this stock's horrible. <laughs> Um, HMNY. Woo! Wait, didn't we look at this one already? Take a look, take a look. Um, that didn't really tell me much. Um, 10 day. Potential drop again at 24. Just as much as it's up, as it's up it can come back down. Um, no. I wouldn't get in. Every sign is pointing towards overbought. Um, oh, you sold earlier. Oh yeah, this this is when you sold earlier. I wanted to make more profits. Um, yeah, it ain't. Man, wasn't it just at like three eighty something? We were looking at it. I just wouldn't do it though. Um, I mean, it's pointing towards over overbought so bad. Um, what I will do is, did I already add this? I don't think I did, but. Um, I'll add it to my active watching because I want to catch it on a potential dip buy. So, um, see what happens there. Did it tops reverse split? Uh, that I don't know. Did it? Oh, man, you can't even see shit on the one year. What the hell? I think so. Split one, two on ten, six, seventeen. So yeah, there's your answer on that. But yeah, I hate this stock overall. I'm not even pretend. I mean, it's just trash. I don't like anything that reverse splits generally. that stock the only thing that could be worse our classic scapegoat yeah you let's check out this piece of shit not doing as bad as I thought I was expecting 60 60 cents now oh, what's another one <laughs> Horrible. By the way, these are classic stock twits ones, so it's just hilarious to see. That one's not, but um, I just wanted to take a look at it. PTN, what the hell's going on there? I don't know. This one might be getting removed from me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one from my watch list. I thought it had some good potential, and it does, but. No. Don't like it. Gotta go. Steel, we haven't checked on steel in a while. Again, still struggling to stay consistently above 36. So, until it starts to come down, we're gonna just stay away from it. Damn. Had a pretty big pullback this morning. 3% right there, an hour and a half. Does this thing move a lot in the morning? I feel like it does. Looks like it does, but I don't know. Still got seven watching. How's everybody doing? Ten, ten apparently watched. Yeah, I feel like I'm just look like I'm hunched. All a professional. Oh my goodness. We are getting close, guys. We're about a half hour away from market close. I cannot wait for tomorrow morning. 
And um, by all means, I mean, if you guys want to like do me a favor, um, I mean, I hate, man, I already, I mean, I hate even like asking this kind of shit. But like, um, if you guys like really want to do me a favor, I mean, if you like the stream, definitely make sure to smash the like button. If nothing else, um, I greatly appreciate that, of course. And um, I mean, if you know other people that are like my, like I said, like minded like us, just here to make money, here to like, here to. Um, network with like-minded people like you all can follow me it's chat it up with each other in the chat um, we're all here to just make money at the end of the day and network off one another so um, if you have any like buddies or cousins or brothers whatever that might be interested in um, the stock market or not even just the stock market but are in financial trouble um, I have a financial freedom if I remember right. I don't know what's title exactly I have like a financial freedom playlist on how to go about getting out of debt I was there less than a year ago I had to move back home into my parents house classic min millennial right um, had like seven eight max out credit cards a car I couldn't afford um, one or two personal loans just a whole bunch of stupid 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 I did stupid bad for my age and my income and, um, yeah, so, I mean, if you know anyone that might benefit from just this channel at all, um, just share a video. If you see a video that they might like, just share a video with them or something, anything. Um, I greatly appreciate it for sure. And um, if you haven't already, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. I, I don't know why I did thumbs up, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate that too, obviously. OSG looks good um, weekly. Too high. Yeah, it's up four percent right now. Another shipping company. I really don't like shipping companies. Well overextended. Be careful, dude. That is really overextended. About thirty percent overextended. Damn it! I drew a trend line. There we go. I want to see this SMA start to curve up. Look at everything. All signs of overbought. Like you said, you even said too high right now. Um, yeah, I want to at least see it come back down here to around 290 before I even revisit it. So what I, it might not, um, I at least want to see it drop to around 310 though. So what I will do is I'm going to set an alert at 310 at or below or just below and um, we'll revisit it if it hits that. Um, do you see why? Because old resistances become new supports. This might be a slight resistance. So if it can come, I want to see it bounce off and continue up. If it can bounce around three dollars to three ten, I'll probably get in around three twenty-one. That's where my ticker landed. Obviously, you want to see it make a new high, say three eighty-seven. That's twenty percent potential. So um, man, I keep drawing lines. I'm um, gonna be interested to see what happens there. And hopefully, again, hopefully the stream is doing all right for you guys. I thought I froze for a second. I was like, fuck, not again. But, yeah, um, I don't know if any of you heard the story about what happened with me this morning and my whole incident last night. I was going to look at a computer and... Um, hit a deer on my way home and it tore my shit up so if you want to see a little bit of entertainment uh, be sure to follow my Instagram and snapchat I already have it on my snapchat store it's dark I'm probably gonna go out here after hours and um, while it's still daylight out and take some more pictures of it I'm not even gonna worry about reporting it to insurance company it's only a thousand dollar beater car I mean it wasn't that ugly of a car in all honesty um, I got it for a steal the cars worth about 1500 to 2 grand but it's not no more it's probably worth about 700 um, but yeah, if you want a good laugh, <laughs> uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'll be posting some pictures on my story tonight about that. Fuck, yeah, I hate deer. They're about some of the dumbest animal. <laughs> but it happens to the best of us. I've seen the deer. I've seen one deer, and usually, if anyone knows anything about deer, they tend to run in packs, and i seen one, and I was like, I better get the fuck out of here before a lot more start crossing the road, or I didn't see any, and then sure enough, bam, just shit shook the shit out of my car and I was like fuck I looked over because it was on passenger side my fucking mirror looked like it just had never even been there just ripped completely off um, cracked my windshield just a little bit on the edge bent the hell out of my radio antenna up front bad shit that was my first time hitting a deer actually it was not fun <laughs> but um yeah 
Better than hitting a car, at least. <laughs> but. Happens to the best of us, right? We all tend to have accidents every three years. That's why, if you notice, insurance companies are smart about anything that gets reported is stuck on your stuff. I don't even think it's just because insurance companies, if I remember right, but they're smart about making sure that it's on there for three years. That way, I mean, they, they're not dumb. If you really think insurance companies are out there to help us, both in the healthcare field and in automobile and housing, they're in it to make money. They aren't in there to fucking help us. So what do they expect? Within three years, you're going to have another accident. You're going to have another ticket, something that will, what, keep your insurance rate up, if not shoot it even higher. That's why I'm not reporting it because I'm literally like one month from my total whatever being clear the last three years. Um, so my insurance should drop a lot. My insurance on that car for just liability was 150, 160 bucks, and it's a thousand dollar car, so it's kind of bullshit. And that's the lowest I could get around here too. In case if anyone was wondering, I doubt anyone is, but. <laughs> Um, but really quickly, we're within the last half hour. I really need to. Man, I've been drinking a lot today. Um, I'm going to take one quick, one last quick restroom break. Um, we're within the last half hour. Uh, how's it going, Sir Shoot? Nice to see you again. Um, deer hit is considered a, considered a comp loss. Um, yeah, I know, like, what I was talking to my dad about it. Apparently, I don't have, like, comp insurance. Um, I, I just have like the basic liability. So, um, oh, you're an insurance agent. Huh? Well, cool. Um, but like, from what my dad was telling me is like, cause I have just liability. I guess I don't, I guess there's a difference between liability and comp. Like pretty much I have the most standard, like I have just the most standard insurance that way. Like I won't get fined if I get pulled over without having insurance. Um, I have like, it's liability, essentially. I guess there's a difference. There's like liability, comp. Um, I think there's another one in between, if I'm not mistaken. And then there's like full coverage or whatever. Like what you have to have if you have like a um, loan on your car or something like that. But um, just really quickly, um, I'm interested to see what Sergio has said about what I just said. But um, I'm going to be right back. Just a quick one last piss break and then we'll be back for the final half hour of the market hours. Okay, so we are within the last half hour of the market, everybody. Hopefully, everybody's in the green today. Um, if you have not made your last trades, um, then don't worry about what I'm about to say. But if you are pretty much done trading for the day, let me know what your profits are. Well, I guess even if you aren't done, um, let me know what your profits are so far for the day. And um, let's see what search you says about that. Liability is covered for third party. You have coverage if you hit another vehicle, but not for yours. I think you're doing the right thing by just having liability on a cheap car, but if you have a need more expensive one, they should be more. Yeah, for sure. 
um, I usually always keep comp or um, I don't know what COLL is. Um, what's the COLL? Um, I usually always keep comp on everything. Um, apparently another one, Lewis. How are, how's it going, Lewis? Um, how are you today? Um, only a million, only a million dollars. Wink. <laughs> um, how's it going, Lewis? Um, thanks for subscribing. Love having new people. Love having new people. Um, but what is um C O L L search you? Um, but yeah, I usually try to keep at least comp on all my vehicles. Um, I had let's see, quick car history of mine is um, a '93 Mazda MX-6. Believe it or not, I had a 93,000, 93,000, 93 Mazda MX-6, a car no one hardly knows what it is. Pretty clean looking car. And it had a one older, one owner, old woman. I got this car for about three grand. Well, I got it for pretty much free because it was like my 16th birthday, kind of. I had to pay some on it, but not a lot. But for three grand, this car had about 48,000 miles on it. 93. And this was in 2013. So 20 year old car, I mean they only drove it about 2,000 miles a year. That was awesome. Um, Scott, Scott subscribed. I thought Scott already subscribed. What did you do, unsubscribe to my channel, Scott? But um, welcome back if you did, little rascal. But, um, oh shoot, what was I saying? Well then from there, I went to like a 2002 Camaro Z28. I mean, I always pretty much, point being, I always try to keep comp on my cars at the minimum. And with good limits, I recommend over 100K liability cause collision. Oh, okay. Um, comprehensive. Comprehensive is comp. Collision is collision liability. Oh, okay. Thanks for clearing that up. Um, yeah, that helped me. That helps me out a little bit. But yeah, I always try to keep at least comp on my cars at the minimum. But like I said, and like you even understand, um, $1,000 car, I just told him straight up, I was like, look, I don't care if I get hit by a deer. <laughs> now I'm kind of regretting that I said that. Um, I think that was karma from saying that, but I was like, I just need insurance. That way if I get pulled over, I'm not going to get fined or anything. But um, doing fine, traded S&P and did well. Awesome, awesome. Traded S and P, so you actually traded the um, S and P five hundred, or did you um, like trade spy or something today? Come on now, what's this thing doing? Pull up one day, one minute, see if that a little quicker. Futures on NADEX, NABEX. Okay, so you trade futures. Um, I actually don't. Even, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I haven't traded futures before. I'm interested. Like I said, I'm always looking to learn as an investor, as a trader. Um, right now, I don't actually. I haven't. I haven't even learned actually anything about trading futures. In all honesty, um, I probably ought to do that. Like I said, I want to be a well-rounded trader. Any way to make money, essentially. That's what we're all here for at the end of the day. So I'm um, awesome. Awesome. I'm an adjuster. I'm trying like not to read out loud because I feel like it can get annoying. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know if you have an Instagram. If so, um, you can um, direct message me on there, um, I think. Um, or you can like message me on YouTube, apparently. I always forget how to check messages on YouTube, but um, that's why I always direct people to my Instagram because I check that regularly. Um, but my device is protected just because I don't have your bullshit protection doesn't mean it's not protected we all know that my device is protected because of shit that happened this morning um, but yeah Instagram's usually the yes it's, okay yeah um, Instagram it is um, like I said if you go to my channel it's um, uh, I guess I better create a new tab if you go to my channel god damn it maybe if we can get there. Ugh. Wow, I can't even spell now. There we go. If we get to my channel here. Uh oh, hopefully it's not gonna be okay. 
Um, you can see I have everything linked up right here now. I just got that finally. Um, wow, 294. Awesome. We've gained like seven subscribers today. Um, thanks a lot, everybody. I love. I can't thank you all enough for the support. But I just figured out how to link everything here. So yeah, I mean, you can message me or at me on Twitter. You can um, message me on Instagram, fa on the Facebook page. I think you can message me as well. Um, I don't know that 100%, so don't hold me to that, but I think you can. But um, really, Instagram is really like the best one to reach me out on. And like I said, you can like click on it, and then it'll take you straight to the page. But um, yeah, um, that's definitely like the easiest way to reach me for sure. Um, let's see here. Futures does not have any pattern day trade. I think you mentioned that to me, Scott, because um, you were talking. Weren't you? You trade futures, don't you? Um, and you were talking about that, so I might want to look into that. Correct. And then now, instant settlement. Spy broke out at twelve noon. Five minute chart. I see. Yeah. Um. Right there. Yeah. Spy definitely. It jumped up from what. 67 to yeah I mean it went up about what half a percentage point in a period of what about an hour if I'm correct on that hour and 13 um, yeah yes ES GC I know a lot of people that trade um, ES I'm forced to see ES there's a lot of people that really trade this a lot um, one thing I'm wondering is like how would someone go about trading this if they don't even have that amount in their account if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense at all but how would someone go about like can you buy portions of shares or do you have to have the money to be able to buy a full share and the only thing I don't like is is in all honesty I mean there's just not a lot of I mean it's generally pretty safe to play it seems like I said I don't know like anything about futures I'm not even gonna pretend to but um, they're not really huge movers, it seems. That's the only thing I wouldn't really like about it. Um, Spy broke out. Ruby. Is Ruby a stock, apparently? Oh, you be on. Um, two, four. So it's at 10% on the day. Looks like it's pulling back on the one day. Um, 180 day. Still a little bit overextended. Wouldn't be surprised to see it drop. Maybe to around $2. That's what? About... Pretty much everything it did minus 10 percent um my, 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 let's see i want to see it pull back it's up it's up a lot it's definitely due for a pullback i want to at least see it around 220 um it's due for a good pullback and it's starting to show signs of this peak formation so um i would stay out of it for now personally but um it's not a bad call out by any means Yeah, search you. I have a Facebook page. Like I said, it's right. Everything, everything like that's easy to contact me on is um, right on that whatever you call it little cover photo deal. Um, you need a margin. Oh, okay. You need a margin account. That makes sense then. On Ant Futures, only four hundred dollar per contract. In gold, every ten cents equals one dollar move. Oh, yeah. See, I mean, I got a lot to learn about that. Cause is it geo or no? Of course it's not. God damn it. Four slash GC. So you said every point ten equals a dollar. So the whew. so you're telling me it moved a dollar thirty. So that'd be thirteen dollars made, correct? Per share or contract or something like that. Per move, whatever. That's not horrible. Like I said, I mean, I got if I ever want to invest in that, I have to, I have a lot to learn. Damn, Santana, are you looking at TVX right now? Eef. You broke even. Um, buyer beware. <laughs> Five ETNs to play the return of market. Really? This might be a good sign. Come on, damn it. Load up. Man, I hope this app doesn't get ready. Okay. Sometimes it freezes when you try to look at news. 
Financial market volatility was historically low in 2017, but volatility has roared back so far in 2018. Investors who have been betting big on volatility ETS have scored some huge wins so far this year, but the volatility trade can also be very dangerous. No shit. Um, if you want, yeah, I mean, this that's another thing with um. Thinkorswim is you get really good access to like certain news. Some of it's stupid and isn't even worth mentioning, but um, you can really get some good news out of Thinkorswim. Uh, sent you a message. Okay, yeah, I just got your message. Um, thanks a lot for that. I'll definitely get back to you on that for sure. Um, if floor size GC moves a dollar, then that equals a hundred dollar on each contract profit or loss. Some days gold GC moves fifteen to twenty dollars, which I mean, yeah, hell yeah, damn. I mean, yeah, like I said, there's a market for to me. There's a market for everybody in this market. I mean, like like I said, I mean it's not really rocket science. I mean, as long as you can analyze a chart read a chart, look at news occasionally, know general patterns, know how to read patterns and trends, and um, obviously know how to like, read candlestick charts and all that good stuff. Um, Bloomberg Global News on YouTube, like watching CNBC. Yeah. Um, actually, I don't even watch Bloomberg and I want to see that much. Um, I don't even think, is it even available on cable TV? Because I don't think it's available on mine. But um, mine's also through my rent, like my cable and internet's provided in my rent, so um, which is actually pretty badass. Everything actually, every utility and everything is available in my rent, so it's pretty cool. But um, as for CNBC, yeah, I watch CNBC a little bit in the mornings and in the evenings, more for Shark Tank than anything. Free on YouTube. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to check that out sometime then. But um. Yeah, I know a lot of people refer to Bloomberg when it comes to like future news, uh, not future news, but like um, future of like how stocks are going to do. Like they called it out when VIX was going to do really well. Um, what was it about two weeks ago? They called that out awesomely. Like they said VIX was going to have a really good day and it did. Um, and the spy dropped a lot. I heard that. That was a couple weeks ago. But um, yeah, I don't really try to watch news too much when it comes to like stock news, but I know obviously it's somewhat important obviously when it comes to especially swing trading for sure. Uh, shoot, what stock was that that he wanted to look at? TRX. Um, so it was all the way up to 59. It's come back down for since first. I think the volume's horrible again. If so, no, but we'll see. Damn, uh, way overextended. Um, good thing is that's uh, starting to trend up. I look forward to at least come back down to the 40s. It's already at 50, so yeah, I think we're gonna see a return to 40 before long. Uh, and then again, if I remember right, the volume is absolutely bad. Uh, it's not horrible, but yeah, I, I don't like it right now. I'd wait at least till 40 cents. 41 at the minimum. I mean, you see it's had a huge jump since Friday. 44 to 55, yeah. I'm going to wait till it gets under 45 at least. Um, 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 they called out LUK. Yeah, it moved up about 2% today um, at one point. Yeah, it's, it's up pretty much at its high of the day, right near the end of the market hours, up about 2%. Yeah, it's not too bad for sure. Um, best thing about trading.
Oh, okay. And Asian time, if I remember right, they're about, what, close to 12 hours um, difference between us. So, um... So, yeah, that, that would almost be perfect for me with overnight because obviously... Ooh, hopefully the camera didn't shake there. Um, obviously, overnight, um, I could keep an eye on it while I'm at work. So, um, yeah, that'd be pretty cool, too. 200 or 500E, so... Damn. Yeah, that'd be, like I said, potential in everything. I look forward to, like, just learning everything. I look forward to trying everything out eventually. Obviously, it takes money to make money, so, I mean, I'm going to need more money to try everything. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I want to learn. I want to get going on options here before long. You guys know I plan on doing options here in about a month or so. Um, I'm starting to get back into penny sum starting tomorrow as well. Um, obviously, I've done ETFs and ETNs, everything like that. Um, and then after options, yeah, I mean, I'll probably tip my toes in the waters of futures and see what can happen there. Because, yeah. Definitely has some potential for some good profits, obviously. Two to five hundred dollars a day. Why did I not grab a water while I was downstairs? Oh well, I'll drink this really hot water back here. It's got another sip left. We don't got that much long. We don't got too much time left. Ugh. I don't know how long that water's been back there. Options very cheap on tastyworks.com. I keep hearing about this. Options very cheap on tastyworks. Man, I keep hearing about this. Let me go ahead and check this one out. Because I keep hearing a lot about it. Tasty works. An operas broke for the active trader. I'm gonna have to look into this some because I keep hearing everyone keeps referring me to this. So um, I'm gonna have to check that out tonight. Hopefully, if I don't forget, I have it pulled up. So hopefully, I don't forget. But um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to check that out. Looks like um, that LUK is trying to pull back here as we get close to the end of market hour. So um, be careful with that. Best platform for options, Tasty Works. Really? Now you've got me intrigued by putting accusations like that out there. Commissions on equity option trees capped at ten dollars. Hmm. Do they have a YouTube channel? I feel like I remember seeing a YouTube video of them. Yeah, I feel like I've seen YouTube videos of them. Probably why it says content. Y'all have to look into theirs for sure and see what um see what I can do there. Cash account one day settlement. Awesome. That's about like Robin Hood, but not quite, because Robin Hood we found out, wow, this thing's really dropping here near the end of the day. Um we found out Robin Hood you have to have a margin account like Robin Hood Instant to be able to do options. And then with that, obviously you cannot maintain your uh, cash account doing like day trade. Man, sorry about that, guys. Man, I'm tired. How the fuck is this a $36 stock? It's actively trending up. Um, 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 uh. I'm not going to say it's making a comeback until it's above $37, personally. Um. 
to be honest, the volume is pretty bad for what it is. Um, yeah, I want to see it reach at least 36.75 before I say it's back. But um, yeah, I just don't really like this one too much. Oh, do I? Oh shoot, man, it looked like GEM with that lowercase. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, she dumbass girl. Um, thing is, is it looks like it's actively starting to try to trend down. Um, I want to see it bounce at again at or above the 180 day SMA, and I want to see confirmation that's going to go back up. I probably personally wouldn't even touch it till about 475, to be honest. Why? Because it looks like it got rejected right around 460, 470. So if I wait till 475, I have more than enough confirmation. Obviously, that's a dollar out, so um, it's up to you at the end of the day how much risk you can tolerate. But um, yeah, I mean, if it can get up to 470, 475, let's say you got in at 473, and it goes up to like close to its recent high, you're still looking at 32% potential. The patient shall be rewarded. Wow, we're about three minutes. So um, again, it was another good day. Um, obviously, I didn't do any trades myself because I'm waiting on settled funds. But um, tomorrow, I cannot wait. Um, I got I got one that will go up $2 rest of the week. QTRX from 1618 might happen Tuesday. Let's go ahead and break this down really quickly. QTRX. Okay, so right now it's around $16. Is this 180 day? I actually kind of like this pattern that it's doing. Um, because you can see, I mean, obviously this is a long period, longer period of time. This actually, that's not even that long. Two weeks, two weeks, um, 35%. That's pretty big. Um, that's 17%, 17, 18% a week, um, right there. So, um, let's see. You said what again? You said $16 to 18. Um, let's go ahead and look right here. I see right around 750 to 775 being a pretty tough resistance. Uh, first thing it needs to do is, um, like I said, I tried multiple kinds of businesses. A detailing business was another business I tried to start up. <laughs> pretty funny, right? Uh, first thing it's going to need to do is break above um, 1650. After that, I think you're going to see another resistance around 1750. Um, if it can break through 1750, I mean, who's to say when it's going to stop? In all honesty. Um, it's gonna be a while. Um, Trade Doc, how's it going? Um, thanks for thanks for the support. Um, shout out. Um, like I said, for everyone that's tuning in new, um, shout out shout out real quick. Like where you're from, what your goals are. Um, what's the whole point of just trading? Like, do you want to do it as a career? Um, what kind of trader are you? All that good stuff. Love to hear about. Love to just hear and learn about everybody here. Um, but yeah, I think you're gonna see again a solid. Resistance probably right around that 1640 1650 mark. Um, then again, like I said, right around 1750 possibly. And then from then on, I mean, who's to say where it's going to stop next? Um, QTRX only been caught for 12 seconds. Oh, okay. I see what you mean then. Yeah, but um, right now it's hanging out around 16. We're down to the last minute. T bonds or TLT had a good move today. Let's take a look really quickly. We are getting close to the end of market day. So on the day, uh, mine shows nothing. Let's take a look at the one day. Oh, shoot. Good lord. So there was a pretty big sell-off with this this morning. From that sell-off, up about a percent. Um, I'm assuming, is this some kind of future, or, or what'd you say it was, TLT, T-bonds? Um, I feel like this is different than your average stock. I got a feeling. Ding, ding, ding. Cannot wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be an amazing day. But um, yeah, so really quickly, overall resistance probably right around here. Boom. 
overall support probably right around. I'll, I'll go ahead and raise the support a little bit. I'll go ahead and put it right here. So, another movement of about a percent possible, could move up a little more, could go down about half percent, two percent, obviously it can always go either way. This is never 100%, these are just quick little trend lines I draw just for what I like to call my target zone. Um, see, you see you later Scott, um, good luck if you're doing any futures tonight, um, TL2 is a 30 year bond. Okay, thanks for that, um, thanks for clearing that up for me. Um, Louis from Los Angeles trading daily focused a few markets trying to have consistent profits from Los Angeles huh I bet your cost of living sucks man but I heard Los Angeles is a beautiful town but man I heard that cost of living eat you alive let me know what your cost of living is mine here is um, roughly 1500 a month <laughs> So I'm anxious to hear what you, and that depends obviously. I mean, we live in a duplex that's a thousand dollars a month. And good luck, see you, see you later, Josh. Um, hope you had a good day today. Um, our duplex here, or not duplex, townhome is um, 1,040 a month, but that includes every single util utility, includes internet, includes cable, everything like that. But um, so you trade daily and um, focus on a few markets, trying to have consistent profit. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Like I always tell people. Three to five percent a day will keep the bills away and will eventually allow you to do this if you want will allow you to do this full time I mean five percent a day is good I mean you start adding compounding interest into that where you're making money off of the money that you made where you keep throwing that money back into your account keep growing it over and over and over that's what we like to call the compound effect um, if you ever read that book compound effect I love that book that book just opened my eyes big time on just how much money you can make based off of compounding money essentially making your money work for you essentially at that point so um i mean if you haven't read that book it's called compound effect um i believe if i remember right i have it in my description here uh don't hold me to that but um i always look when i always like post stuff in my description i always look yeah i always look for like the cheapest one for everybody uh because i mean i'm a cheapskate i won't even lie i'm really cheap all about budgeting and whatnot and um, I found it for like seven or eight dollars, if I remember right, somewhere between like seven to ten dollars on Amazon. So I went ahead and linked it up. But um, one bedroom is around twenty three hundred. Good lord! Just to put that in perspective, at my night job, I make about twenty two hundred a month. So I'd be screwed. And I feel like I'm doing good around for around here. What I'm making for my age, being a college dropout. I'm not doing bad. I mean, I make around 16 an hour. My girlfriend makes, she just got her 40 cent raise. She makes like, I don't know, 12 or 13 an hour. I mean, we're doing good for our age and not having even been in, in school. We live in um, a college town, University of Missouri, um, Columbia, Columbia, Missouri. But um, wow. Yeah, when we divide everything, our total cost of living is about, give or take, thousand to fifteen hundred a month depending on the month and that's including car payment gas food everything she has a car payment still I do not so my that's why I'm a, that's why I'm able to invest so much is because um, literally I only have one debt my one debt um, I don't know if you guys a lot of you are new I definitely suggest you guys to go check out um, some of like just the debt free journey like financial freedom videos um, just kind of tries to guide you, put a guided path for you on how to just achieve financial freedom. Um, obviously, stock markets allow you to do so too, but um, just about like getting out of debt and whatnot. Um, so there's a PDF, compound effect PDF. Um, yeah, if, there, if there's a PDF available, that's awesome. Yeah, avoid spending the money. Um, I didn't know there was a PDF. Well, I, I also like have, I'm, I'm kind of OCD about my books. Like I, I never read digital books either. Um, I'm kind of weird about like needing my um, hardback or paperback book. Like I like just having my book. But yeah, I mean, if you can get PDF and it's free, then um, by all means, um, go that route too. But um, yeah, like I said, I have videos about getting out of debt and whatnot. I had eight, nine, or not eight or nine, seven or eight. I think it was seven. It was either seven or eight. Pretty much eight maxed out credit cards, maxed out to the max personal loans. Obviously, personal loan you 
it's always max whatever but um had all the personal loan and a car I couldn't afford and just I pretty much walk you all through pretty much what I went through and my coming to Jesus moment and um, how Dave Ramsey's whole baby step system kind of gave me a track to stay on now I'm down to just one credit card um, it's gonna be paid off here before long and um, have paid for a car it's not the best looking car no more after hitting a deer but um, I mean, yeah, it's just what this channel is all about. It's just achieving financial freedom, um, all about different ways of making money. If you want to look at ways on how to just make some quick, not get rich quick, I want to make that very clear, not get rich quick or anything, but just some quick cash. I have videos on how to go about sell, reselling stuff on Amazon and eBay. Um, you can literally go out anytime that you're not working in the afternoon, go to local Goodwills, um, get into garage sale season, garage sales. Uh, book sales and just look at flipping books, flipping textbooks specifically, um, flipping textbooks, flipping electronics. Electronics is a little harder because they have such a high return rate, but flipping electronics, flipping books, and um, making some quick money. I mean, really quick money and good money too. I was making a couple hundred, twelve hundred a month doing that. So, um, like I said, I mean, I got just, I literally use this channel to document everything successes, failures, everything. So, um, if you're just into just that overall and like I said if you want to network with a bunch of like-minded people definitely say in that subscribe button below we'd love to have you here but um yeah I mean it's after hours now so I'm probably gonna get ready to sign off here I still gotta eat some lunch a little bite or something before my girlfriend gets home we'll probably have a late dinner tonight but um yeah again I'll be on tomorrow a little bit hopefully a little bit sooner than today hopefully we don't have any technical difficulties today like yesterday um so yeah again i'll be on tomorrow and i will be actively trading and um, i can't wait to see you guys tomorrow i mean we gained i don't know how much we gained today from like a subscriber standpoint like i said it's not a big deal i don't care if i'm talking to one person or if i'm talking to a hundred or a thousand people um, i just want to be able to talk with and network with as many like-minded people as possible um, I work full time doing automotive collections, DJ, and started my business of reselling shoes. Oh, you resell shoes? Yeah. Um, have you heard of Glenn? Um, he's also on YouTube. I forget his name. Glenn um, something. I think his um, YouTube channel is Hustler Hacks. I don't know if let's pray for T Vix. Yeah, it's holding. It's trying to hold up. But um, have you heard of? Um, that's his YouTube channel. I don't know if he's still running it or not. I believe he is. He does a lot with merch by Amazon now. But um, he used to he started his YouTube channel by reselling shoes from Ross and stuff, I believe. Um, so if you haven't seen that channel, you might want to hop over there. I haven't heard from him in a long time. I I used to mess I used to talk with a lot of people like that whenever I was in the reselling game. But um, you can't fly with eagles when you work with turkeys. <laughs> That's about right. That's about right, Scott. But um, yeah, I'll just break, I'll look at TVix really quickly here, and then I'll get ready to sign off. I hope you guys. Have a good night. What? Oh, I thought I said 989 was the... Okay. So, yeah. I mean, it's trying. It's trying to hold up after hours. You're still in the profit a little, um, Santana. But, um, you, man, you do a lot. You sound like me. Always working. The only thing I don't like here, look at that staircase. That's never a good sign. But, um, yeah, hopefully good luck. I, I'll be watching this tonight, praying, praying for you and thank you for you, man. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I'll go ahead and wrap it up there. Hopefully everybody did have a green day. Seems like everybody had a hell of a day. Um, it was a pretty good day for me too, even though I didn't trade, obviously. But um, I can't wait to report tomorrow. Again, I hope to be on around 8.15, 8.25 at the latest central time, which would be 9.15, 9.25 Eastern. And I believe, what would that be, on the West Coast, like 6.15 maybe? I might be off an hour on that. Somewhere around 6.15 or 5.15. I don't know how far behind you guys are from central time. Pretty much just look at the time here and then adjust uh, for whatever hour you currently are. But, yeah. So, until tomorrow morning, guys. Hopefully you guys stay green today. And as always, keep on going out there, making those profits, covering those profits, and cutting those losses, and achieving some financial freedom this year. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's stream. Take it easy, guys.